Wednesday morning, it's the O oh Susanna show, and look who we have. We have Shadow Woman Rhonda, and we have Kevin as Sagalicious, and we're going to be talking about the 80s this morning. You know, some fun. We have a couple Rhonda more. Be here long. <laughs> no. Rhonda's not going to be here long. Happy about it, too. I'm not a fan of the oh. 80s at all. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're not. No. You like more than 90s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's because she's 10 years younger than us. Yeah. yeah. I could do the 90s and crush you. Yeah, no, no, not me. Crush all I of can, you. I could barely do the 80s. <laughs> hmm. We're going to have a couple more members coming in shortly. Um, no. Balitsky. Who do we Hi, have here? When are we doing this? Now. Now. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, that's... Yeah. I didn't know it was now. Yeah. What did you think show. it was? I thought you were doing it Friday. No, that's today's show. It's all that's about today's, today's show. You okay. didn't know that. No, I'm being honest. I did not think it, I didn't know it was today. 1980 with special guest Saga, Robin, Rhonda, Hemlock. I think I read the shit? And other guests, I'll say, because the other people have been invited and are coming. So we I'm have Bonnie here this morning. Good morning, Bonnie. I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> it's okay. She is. Don't you worry about it. I need to get some cocaine and capizios. <laughs> and some rain hairspray. And who else is here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Anyone else? I know Valetti and Bill. That's right, I'm Bill. Later on in the day. I knew I didn't think it was in the morning. My daughter's a millennial. I think you're actually a millennial as well. Nope, I'm a zenial. There's no such thing, you Yes, there you, is. You people. Info. They're having their own conversation. No, we want to have a fight and entertain everybody. That would be big news. You have Kevin and Rhonda had a fight. Hemlock's a zenial. Yeah. Lori just missed the, the Lori just missed the the cutoff. Hemlock, was the was the My old geezer. Kent. Mwah. And we have Virginia. Good morning. Mwah. Who else? Do we have anyone else? We got just Kim. Good morning, Kim. Mwah. Oh, it's just Kim. It's just Kim. Who the hell but is Kim? Kim? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Don't even start that shit again. What Suzanne is making friends. <laughs> oh, man. No, no. I remember that day. I was like, what? <laughs> Poor Kim. <laughs> ah, I sometimes I get brain farts. It doesn't. Sorry. Brain. I felt so bad for her because it was like so rude, like mean. But it's not Susanna. Susanna is not mean or rude, spirited no. at all. But the way what? it came across like that, I'm like, oh my god. What did I just miss? 
No, it happened a while back. Oh. Yeah. Good well, morning, I Carolyn. I wasn't, I wasn't part of the cool kids back then. No. No, you were just too cool for us. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You had your mm -hmm. nose stuck up high to us then. <laughs> His nose was so high. It's still it's still there, but I'm getting checks mailed to me anonymously each week to hang out with you guys. So just so you know. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. When those checks run out, I can't do it anymore. Hi, Darlene. How's your work week going? Darlene was forced to go back to work one day when she was getting over illness. Choo-choo! Uh -huh. <gasps> hey. Just too time. Look who's here. Good morning, Larry. Morning, morning. How are you? Huh? Wait not a minute. I they. Thought this was, Just I thought, Susanna. Not thought, they. It was only Susanna. <laughs> I thought this was the 1980s, not the 1880s. Oh my God. Joe. Oh, Joe. 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 Yeah, he Lord. definitely wants to make sure everyone knows he's coming. <laughs> the choo choo train, get off the tracks, people. Get off the tracks. If that train falls off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh my God. Okay. Nobody knows that song. You don't want me to sing the next lyrics. You do know it? I do okay, know I'm it. Not Who's the black me? sheep? Where's the black sheep? Oh my God. That pip. When I went to Cancun in 1990, that was the hottest song going. So, I, I'm still waiting for um, a couple of other people to pop in so we can start this. Because we're not good enough? Hello. Hello. I'm going to talk to you. Hello, Hello Chief. It's Maxwell. We're not coming. <laughs> so, how do you want to start this? Like... What about the eighties? Kevin, Kevin, what about the eighties? What was so great about the eighties? Nothing. Cocaine and hookers. Cocaine and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. She was one of the shaking heads. She's like, oh no. Well you gotta you gotta throw the marijuana in there too. No, nah, not in the eighties. Oh. It was like kind of okay. No, the eighties? What was so great about the eighties? The diversity of the music will never be, will never be toppled. Like, Good morning. Sorry, my bad. I mean, you had eighties music, and then you got—I mean, you started the eighties out with. Actually, people think hair bands, but it was punk rock, as Robin would attest. That spilled over from the late seventies to the early eighties, and then out of nowhere, here come the hair bands. But on top of the hair bands, you also had now an eclectic group that, I think, Robin straddled the fence like I did. You went from the rock and roll to the new wave. So, like, new you could have the new wave hairdo, but you could also get away with that hairdo with the, with the, with the hair bands. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So, depending on, and you also had two groups of friends, yeah. like, almost split right down the middle. It was like everyone led a double good life. It was just a good life. Yeah. Before you had to be responsible and shit, you know, that adult Way less thing. stress. You know what? Almost no stress. Well, 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 for me, I just loved the hair bands. I mean, just because of the way they had the music. I mean, there won't be nothing like it again. You mean those eighteen eighties orchestras? Is that what you're talking about there, old man? No, you know, got like Journey and Def Leppard. I love Def Leppard. Honey, I graduated and got married in the eighties as well and had my son in the eighties. Dear Lord. The only other thing good about the eighties, if you wanted to go cruising around, you collected a dollar from each friend, you got five bucks, you drive all night long. And I also lost my virginity in the eighties as okay. well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Go for bears of the virginity. Awesome. I was into rat and Bon Jovi. I got laid. <laughs> like where where's the in between? There's a lot of yada 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 in there. Honestly, the only music I wasn't into was country, and that's still kind of oh like, Jesus. I don't even think it existed in the eighties. Oh, it did. It was real twangy. Probably existed somewhere else where it belonged. Yeah, that just wasn't my thing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get I back here, woman. That's no way to talk to Tina. What are you doing? Can you hear Tina's collar, Kevin? Here you go. The puppy you already. I ain't saying a word. 
Well, I got to get Susanna back. I was running a little late because we were trying to do stuff. And uh, she called. She's like, are you coming? I was like, well, not at the moment. And she goes, fuck you. And she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you know, it was supposed to be this morning, but you think it was this afternoon as well. No, I, I knew. Uh, so I, I was doing it. It didn't go off. And so I had to eat something real quick. Otherwise, we, I wouldn't be able to remember shit. <laughs> oh, the Sony Walkman. Yeah. VCR. Yeah. Atari 2600, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Susanna, um, uh, Kathy's in the back. Susanna's not at the MTV. desk at the moment. She's chasing a puppy. I would love to see a videotape of that. Here, I'll be Kathy until she gets up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, change Is that name. what happens when Elmo and the Pillsbury Doughboy have sex? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> She's our love child. <laughs> yeah. Bonnie Worley had four kids in the 80s. Oh, my Lord. Four kids in the 80s? Oh, my goodness, no. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. No, no, no. See you be here soon. Kathy's in the back room. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> there <it is. laughs> I, I tried to tell her. <laughs> Robin, you cracked me up. Oh my you God. cracked me up, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> Rhonda cracks me up and then hits me. What about you, Susanna? Who cracks you up? Uh, who cracks me up? Yeah, who cracks you up, Susanna? Yeah. Mr. Dean. No, on YouTube. Oh, on YouTube? <laughs> oh, Sometimes you do, Robin, with your videos, but Kathy... Just me, Kathy, her freaking laugh yeah. makes me, I mean, <laughs> done. I'm done. And <laughs> Tania. Tania's laugh and oh, just me, uh, Kathy's laugh. They're so different from each other. So yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 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 They're both See what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to stop laughing just because. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Kathy doesn't get on this saying, I'm going to sell you this shit. Look at this crap I got to sell. Right. <laughs> I was fucking dying. <laughs> that one's got to buy this shit. It's all over my house. But here, look at it. Right, can I have a mystery box of shit, please? I got this shit, and that shit, and this shit, <laughs> and that crap. Shit over here, shit over there, shit everywhere. She can okay. have her own Dr. Seuss, the foul, war, the foul language version. Casual said ranting Tina cracks her up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that definitely cracks me up. M. Bill wants us to poke her, squeeze her, and take her home. All right. All right. <laughs> Help me and squeeze me and take me home. I might be homeless if I did that, but uh, whatever. Can I take you home first <laughs> and poke you? Right. <laughs> All right. With that said, I'm out. Okay. What? Bye, Bye Rhonda. Bye, Bye, honey. And check. No taste of clown for us today. No, no. Well, why did that just happen? I do have the puppy this morning. Yes, I am puppy sitting. And she has eaten through my Ethernet cable already. What? Yep. Good golly, Miss Molly. Right. I... <laughs> Someone say Molly. That was the 90s. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Molly's. <laughs> oh, whoops. I don't know anything about that. Kevin, did you ever do um, poppers, amyl nitrate? Yes, but not for the reasons why you're going to try to tell everybody why I did them. No, 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 no. I know there's alternate reasons, but like, oh, you, go to the club, you have one of those little brown bottles. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 80s. 80s. Oh my God. What is she doing? Good morning, Hemlock Lady Merkin Top Tilly. She'll be here soon. What are you doing? You're driving me nuts that you're not in here. Why? <laughs> this one is the okay at the end of the doing. What are you doing? Right? Jesus. Gosh darn, it's been, oh my God. I'll be 89 <laughs> since I've seen that. Then that took on a whole nother market of people, so. I guess it was originally, I don't know if I'm to tell you, but I've seen people way do way too much of it and just have, just have their brain fried. Right. Well, the thing you start modeling it is, uh, Yeah. Okay. 
stay right here. Stay right here. You want to see the puppy? Okay. Hold on. You want to see the puppy? The puppy. <laughs> hey, Carol Ann. Carol Ann. Um, uh, I did a, a Halloween intro for the Halloween yes, show. Puppy. There's a Say throwback hi. to you in there, Caroline. You got to watch okay. it. Who's mm. that? Who's that? Hey, Molly. That? It's Molly. <laughs> Oh, there's Molly. That don't look like a Molly to me. That looks like it's going to be one of those. Get the fuck over here, dogs. Yeah, right. <laughs> Get the fuck over here. She's looking like, okay. put me down. What is it? It's a collar on that thing. I know, right? She a gang member? It's a... It's a what? Patriot's collar. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Where's she, she going? Apparently. Away. Oh, that's where she's going. Away. <laughs> Go into the other room and find shit that you want. Let her explore, Susanna. You'll be fine. <laughs> I love it. Larry, can you do it? Luna uh, said hi. Uh, Molly, Luna said hi. No, Larry's, you know, Devin can imitate Larry's laugh. It's hilarious. <laughs> really? Wow, yeah. that's really good. <laughs> she can do Larry's laugh, she can do Pat D's, and she can do Picky Nicky. Like, nailed it. Awesome. Liz, who woke him up? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm kind of awake. I'm, I'm trying to do two things at once here. Oh, no. I haven't been to bed yet, so... <laughs> So, all right. So, if I have to ask you guys, what is your favorite song from the '80s, Kevin? What would it be? Oh, you can't. We can't answer that. One song. Can't answer, that. Can't answer that. No. No. Good, no. good lord! It was just so there's much. Too, there's too many. I don't have a song. Look, you got the same answer from everybody. <laughs> like I can give you the '70s and my favorite song of all time. That I can do. But the '80s, there was no bad music. No. It assimilated. Yeah. I mean, my lord. Yeah. You have some nerve asking that question. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I've had enough of this crap. How dare if, you? If you had to pick one song, there, well, let me tell you something. There's artist. some bit. Maybe pick an artist. There was pick some really. Uh, there was some really bad songs. There's a lot like, of one hit one hit wonders. Right. There was some bad songs. Phil, same Purple Rain is her favorite. Good one. That's yeah. a really good song. Excellent song. Uh, my name is Prince. Look at my boots. Prince was amazing. Prince, Come on. Was not Prince. To list. Kathy Music said, I think mine would be Thriller. Thriller was a good one. See? -dum 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 -dum. We had so many amazing artists in the 80s. Mm -hmm. you, you can't na narrow it down to just one artist or one song. Well, she's I'm not a Madonna I fan. I liked Madonna music back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was like 11 or 12 or something, and I dressed like Madonna. So, <laughs> here. <laughs> she set a lot of trends. Yeah. I would have to go with the genre of, I mean, I split that decade in half. You know what was weird? You got the 80s beginning with, like, the Ramones and Blondie. Joe Jackson, and oh, th th those are two different types. Those are actually three different types of music for the most part. Yeah. But if you liked one, you did like all three. It's not like nowadays where people be like, I turn that shit off. Because there is a lot of crap nowadays. I mean, it's just I egregious listen. crap. But back then, and then all of a sudden, you get eight, late 83 hit Bon Jovi. Just don't, don't forget how long Bon Jovi's been around. Mm -hmm. 37 years. I remember when Runaway was released in October of 83, followed by Quiet Riots, Come on, Feel the Noise. Then the hair band whole thing took off like, a, right. like, a, like a bat out of hell. That's right. And buried all the pop and the R&B and everything else. But what happens is years later, those other sub songs that were not looked upon, like, you know, you had the hair bands pretty much, you know, overtake and, and dominate everything else. But I'll tell you what. This one album, and I'll I, and I'll be uh, ready to admit, probably the best album of the decade was by Lionel Richie. Hello. Top to bottom, that was a is fantastic album. Is it me but you're I looking pick for? It as my favorite. That's I just one song. Guys. 
a client right, right, right. In 83. <laughs> oh and then and then you know my favorite motley crew in early 84 i mean come on heck yeah then you had rat rat then had, roll <laughs> then you had that horrendous band called poison yeah i don't know much about poison cinderella Def Leppard and Journey in Boston. Love Def Leppard. Kansas, but yep. You know, look at look at Def Leppard's second album, Pyromania, and look at the picture on the cover. It'll blow your mind. It's the Twin Towers getting hit. I like. Look Def up the Leopard. cover of Def Leppard's Pyromania. Michelle P. saying too, there was a lot of one hit wonders. Oh, it was wonders. fantastic. The one hit wonders, like Turning Japanese by the Vapors. Uh huh. <laughs> And this is like I'm coming to the so no sex, no drugs, no wine. Come no, on, no, you, no Who's that group that used to sing? Why do we know the words to this shit? I can't tell you what I had for dinner. What um what was the group that sang that song? Come on, Eileen. Dexie's Midnight Runners. Yep. Dixie's Men yeah. Sorry. I have a Kathy, delay. Kathy, please don't don't try. If I, I don't get it, Robin's getting it. Kathy, just sit back. Let, let the adults <laughs> play, Kathy. You're only forty eight. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm made it to the top of the mountain. Come on. We're already rolling down the other side Journey. of the mountain. We don't like Motley Crue, Bon Jovi. I got to tell you, Journey in '81, that Escape album was absolutely phenomenal. Proclamation Fantastic. Guilty on That's one of my favorites. I like New Way more than more than The Rock. Looks so young. Oh my God! You can go I into and then I, I I did the deep dive into the Smiths, Depeche Mode. Yeah, yeah, me too. Electronic Boy. Pet Shop Boys. The Eurythmics. Not not a fan, but they were they were popular. They had good songs. They had good I like songs. Berlin and what's the other group? Terry oh, Bozio. those those people. Dale Bozio. What was the band? Missing Persons. Missing Persons. Holy <laughs> shit! I've heard that Love name them. in a long time. Wow. Oh, says, oh, I was a, I was into punk Black Flag. Henry Rollins is my favorite. I love his Spoken Word album. I have to say, Family Man. But well, were great too. Well, I'll tell you who beat him to that whole genre was Jim Carroll. Was 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 created that whole genre. Jim Carroll band. They did. He oh, remember. He, Robert will remember. He did the song People Who Died. Those are people who died, died. He went through all the people that he knew growing up and all recite who died. Jim Carroll was a phenomenal spoken word guy and poet. His book, Organic Trains, is one of the hardest books to get your hands on. And then you have Cindy Lauper. Oh, Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Girls just want to have fun. I loved Bon Jovi. I really did. Yeah, I was never a fan of Bon Jovi. That Who's much. Circle but Jerks? Circle jerks are good too. Kind of um, black flag genre. Sex pistols. Yeah, you know what? I, I wouldn't even. I mean, it's it's genre on the punk, but I wouldn't even call black flag punk. And Henny Rollins was only with the band very shortly. He wasn't an original member or anything. Right. He was, he was a replacement. But he's got one of the best, his, best songs there. Is I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Salt and pepper. What is that? Now, nah, that's where I didn't get into that. Blister in the sun, the violent femmes. They were you. Violent femmes, yeah. yeah. Boy George, don't forget about him. Boy George. Wham. Oh God, I love him. Wham. <laughs> I'm a I'm a male who's a big George Michael fan. Yeah, I loved him. You just you yeah. just sit back and forget all the bullshit you heard in your entire life Carol and listen to that man sing. It's phenomenal. I gotta and check out more to the saxophone than that song. <laughs> Careless Whisper is one of the best songs ever written, and he wrote that when he was seventeen. So, Love trivia, boy. who did his choreography for his uh, faith video? Uh, Michael Peters? No, Paul Abdul. Paul Abdul. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All the clubs wore that song the hell out. Bizarre Love Triangle by New Order. Oof. Blue Monday and all those other tunes. I loved New Order. It's like those four or five bands swapped members left and right. 
He had New Order in it. Then they left to make um, Electronic. And then Neil Tennant from the Pet Shop Boys went and sang with everybody. <laughs> and then John, don't forget Johnny Somerville, who was with, um, oh, my God. I think that name. He did that song, Small Town Boy, English guy. Little tiny English dude, Johnny Somerville with a great voice. Um, the Bronsky, the Bronsky beat. Oh, Bronsky beat, yeah. I actually didn't. I saw them in uh, well, a couple of them in concert, not that long. It was so bad. <laughs> but it oh was God! Well, Somerville ain't with them. I would hope. Yeah, yeah they were opening for someone. Uh, they were opening for Goo Goo Dolls. I just realized I'm the youngest one up here. I would I would constitute <laughs> Carolyn the guess who Neil Young in Kansas all seventies. Or, or, or origin. I mean, it's my most favorite song of all time is by Kansas. I think the best song ever written, but that's just me. Good morning, what Des. Is, I'm sorry? I'm sorry. What song is the best song ever written? Carry On My Wayward Son. Oh, my God. I love that song. Yes. I was talking to that song yesterday, and it doesn't love you. I still say Bohemian Rap from a musician's point of view. Bohemian Rhapsody is the best song ever written. Hey Webs, good hey, morning, my love. Hey Betty. Bonnie Dawkins. Lay down. Stay there. I mean, there's a lot of groups and bands that you'll be a huge psychotic fan for a year, and then you're like, I'll see your next one. Like I, I was okay. obsessed with the Police from '83 to '85. But um, yeah. <laughs> what about Tears of Fear? Tiffany and Fear. I think we're alone now. Yeah. She was the mall queen. Debbie, Debbie Gibson. Gibson. Yeah. Debbie Gibson. Yeah. But Debbie Gibson wrote all her own songs. She was yes, talented, she did. actually. Yeah. I loved her. I was so. You thought you were Debbie. No, but I loved her so much. I don't know why. Yes, she did. You Only in my dreams. Only in my dreams. As real as it may be. <laughs> no, you're not getting out. You're staying right there. So don't don't tell me I can't. No. <laughs> Tears for Sears did a great song that no one ever heard called Advice for the Young at Heart. It's a fantastic song. Much better than Shout. Shout, it gets the dirt out. <laughs> 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 you guys should listen to that song, Advice for the Young at Heart. They were actually a very good band musically, but you know, the catchy tunes are the ones that make it popular, Tiffany. Yeah, so Tiffany let me ask around. a question. Did did um what's it oh God, what's his name now? The guy, the guy with the bat, you know, he ate uh, the it. Yeah, did he really eat a bat's head? No. 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 It was a rubber bat. It was, it was a rubber bat. It was a toy, and it got out in the media that it was a real bat and all this other crap. And so then it's just kind of like an urban legend thing. Yeah. So they say anyway. <laughs> then two weeks later, he, he kills his fucking guitarist flying on a plane above the house. He was wild. Sharon! Sharon! <laughs> <laughs> It's my toilet paper. London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> but how many people, too, that um, how many singers actually died of drug overdoses in the 80s? A lot. Drug overdoses? Yeah. Mostly. Not fun. as many as the last five years, I'll tell you that I, much. I would agree with no, that. No, stay. Like more. Stay. I don't know how they're still alive, some of them. No, I know. Don't give me loves, and then you want to get down on the floor. I can't think of one. I'm sure there is one too. Um. Oh well, you got um, Shannon Moon from Blind Mint Lemon, but that might have been or that might have been ninety three, right? <laughs> you said lemon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, blind lemon. No, blind melon. I mean, blind melon. Oh, did I say lemon? <laughs> yeah, you said lemon. That's because I've had lemons in so long. Hi guys. Oh, he passed away. Yeah. Hi. That might have been nineties. That might have been early nineties. Morning. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. I had the girls fighting this morning. <laughs> as soon as I got up, and then I had to. Talia wanted me to teach her how to do crock pot. 
I'm making crock pot for dinner today. Oh, nice. <sighs> yeah. Okay, now I'm not the youngest on the panel anymore. Yay! <laughs> oh. I'm the youngest on here now? So, yep. um, Tania, <laughs> do you think the 80s music was your favorite? Uh, yeah, 70s, 80s, and early 90s. I actually don't even listen <clears throat> for the past, like, probably 20 years. I don't, I haven't listened to new music. I keep listening to the old. Same. Yeah. I can't, my girls like all the new music and everything. And when I hear it, I'm like, that is not music. What is that garbage? <laughs> it seems like everybody thinks they're like a singer now. <laughs> yeah, of course. I have those uh, programs and uh, microphones and what have you that uh, tune their voices and shit now. Katy Perry's made a career out of it. Yeah, I just think like, it just seems like nowadays, like you could go into a studio and say you're a singer and you know, it, it, I think it's mostly 99% of the last 20 years music is garbage. So I just keep rewinding the, all the 70s, 80s and early 90s. There's some, hidden gems, there's some hidden gems out there today, but unfortunately some of these young kids, are, they're just frying their brains and dropping dead at 22. Oh, one, after, one, one after the other. I know. Yep. Like you don't have to appreciate the music, but somebody like Little Peep dying at 22 years old was a tragic was was a travesty. And the kids, who's the other kids who I ran a group, yeah. you know, whoever that the Hoochie Mama Grande was with. Yeah. Was and I name? like kind of different genres. I I like like all all uh Hoochie Mama. classic yeah. rock. Obviously, it's classic rock, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah, like ACDC. I love J uh, Joplin. I love like Bob Dylan. Steppenwolf. Um, I like heavy metal a little bit too, like Sepultura, um, Pantera. And he spends it in what? Um, oh, I love Pantera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I've been selling Pantera memorabilia lately on eBay. Ooh. And then I yeah. kind of like like the girl, girl, the like, you, you remember the Lilith Fair? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like all those singers, like, no, Sharon, not back Joe, then. Cheryl Cluck, Cheryl Crow, Sean Colvin, Paula Cole, um, awesome. Jewel, old Jewel, old, old Jewel. Like that. Yeah. Tess is saying she likes the 50s music. Oh, I'm going down there. She with likes you some 90s music that um, I know everybody's going to frown, but you know, like Pearl Jam and yes. Soundgarden and <laughs> yes. all of those. I do enjoy that, but the rest of the crap that was out, mm -mm. Well, it's pretty funny you should name those two bands because neither one would exist if Andy Wood didn't OD on heroin, who was in Mother Love Bone, and that band split up and made both those other bands. That You're right, Kevin. Yeah. Because neither one of them would have existed. Yeah. Alice in Chains, the best oh. of anything coming out of uh, Seattle. I actually have Alice in Chains in my CD player in my car right now. And that's another person who is another recent person that they just sit there and watch rot to death. Man in the Box. Oh yeah, that song rocks. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, We're the real Chili Peppers. I love Spoon Man too. No, I don't like Chili Peppers. From, um, they, you know, Chili Peppers is funny. They just sound like that. All their instruments are out of tune. <laughs> I just, just keep remembering anyway. that one video where Anthony Kiedis is walking down the street with no shirt and his long hair from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, is that one under the bridge? Mm, probably he's walked yeah. down. He hasn't worn a shirt in thirty years. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I don't think he ever wears a shirt. Yeah. Well, he had more <laughs> clothes except for a sock on his dick for twenty years. I'm sorry, but we we use we use the word penis, you street girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, his penis. <clears throat> Junk penis. We don't like Richard. But that's my dad's name. And I know a lot of these. People that were big in the '80s and early '90s are still trying, kind of today. And I'm, I'm just like, get, you're done. You know what I mean? You, you were a legend back then. Yet you people still listen to your old shit, but you're kind of done already. I mean, that, but that's music in a nutshell. You still got to play, you know, all Motown and '50s bands doing doing clubs repeatedly for 40, 50 years. Yeah, that's that's how they got to make money. You know, when you buy the big house and you pay it off, you still got to pay the taxes when you're not making money anymore. Right. <laughs> you know? I mean, David Cassidy was doing schoolyard football fields before he died. Wow. It's, that's the only thing they know. 
Yeah. And then the smart ones fade away in the sunset and invested their money properly. Didn't I mean just about every manager robbed everybody. Yeah. I mean these 18, 19, 20 year old kids didn't know what the hell they were reading. Yeah. They got absolutely obliterated. We had such a wide variety of all kinds of different music in the eighties and it was all good in every genre. Mm -hmm. Right, like you love John, every, Billy Joel. Yeah, you know, yeah. You heavy metal. Right. You had punk. You had new wave. You had pop. Uh, what do you call it? Pop metal. I guess is kind of like the hair band stuff. Don't you dare call hair bands pop metal. I'll smack. You. That's what they called it, though, dude. Maybe where you're from in the backwoods of Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, I'm there are a Kathy. lot of you Pennsylvania people a little bit strange. Just, just saying. I'm not from Pennsylvania. They got to call it pop. Kevin, you know that. You see, back then, this is what you had to do. And I know Robin did this, and I know Susanna did, probably did this. Larry doesn't know what day it is, and maybe Tania did it. You would sit there and wait and wait and wait. And the minute you heard the first note, you would hit record on your little fucking recorder. Oh my yeah. god, yes. 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 Now Kevin, I still have some of those cassettes. Yeah, I, I do I do I too. Have I have a too. bunch of cassettes. Listen and and, and now you go in the bathroom and you can play it anytime you want. <laughs> Listen to the radio, waiting for it to hit record. Yep. On your I mean, when, when, day when DJs actually announced what song it was and who sang it. Right. Well, I think that's why we were better at memorizing who's saying what because it, we were told constantly. Whereas now, if your radio doesn't digitally say it, you're like, "Who is this? Who knows?" You got to get an, another app and open that app to, to yeah, listen. And then you had to go actually and buy the music. Yeah, and I, I still to this day, if I haven't heard a song in like 25 years, and all of a sudden it, I hear it. Do, do you guys ever uh, have that's ever happened to you? Like, oh yeah, are you kidding me? In twenty five years, I haven't heard a song, heard but as soon as I hear it, I know I remember every single word to the song. Yeah. And you remember, yeah. you remember the exact day you heard it. Yeah, it, it's just ago. it's so funny. My girls laugh at me, and they're like, "What song is this?" And I'm singing it, and I haven't heard it in twenty five years, but I remember every single word to it. My mom used I think to say, I wish the, that, that your schoolwork sounded like your music because you would remember everything if it was music. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, my about, kids are like, yeah. what is this? My, I try to get yeah. my kids to listen to my music from <laughs> that time, and they're like, ew, what is this? And what is this? The only one, my oldest is the only one that actually likes Bob Dylan and likes Blue Oyster Cult and Janis Joplin. Um she she's the only one that likes it but I, i'm like you know this is music i try to tell them this is music not the garbage shit you listen to today tania do you know that blue oyster cult used to sneak into local clubs and play under an assumed name do you know what it was what soft white underbelly really well, i didn't know so that. when they weren't on tour they used to go to neighborhood clubs that fit like you know 50 to 100 people oh and they wear a disguise and then when they played they, they would go by the name of soft white underbelly yeah wow mm -hmm. Tania, the only thing I have to say about that saying that today's music is trash is our parents used to say our music was trash too. So it's more of a generational thing. I think so. I, you're, I agree with you on that. So, but it's funny. Yeah. My, mom, my mom in the car will be listening to the oldie station and they're playing 80s music and she's just a happy and this dancing away in her seat and stuff. And I'm like, you called this crap when I was a kid. What's up? <laughs> well, well, how about try this one off the size? When you were young, your grandpa, or grandma being in the college there, and they'd play like Perry Cuomo, Frank Sinatra. Yep. And they were like, wow, this is what music used to be. Now, when you're 70, you're going to hear Metallica and be like, Metallica, and your grandkids are going to look at you and go, what the fuck? <laughs> I know, Rhonda. I just say it that. <laughs> I, my I parents like are 40 and 45 years older than me. So, talk about a generational gap with music. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> they're, into, they're still into Mozart. Imagine that someone's grandfather at 75 would be like, put that up, it's Pantera. <laughs> See if you can find a station that plays Slayer, man. Like, Grandpa, are you fucking okay? Where's my bong? It's a whole different world. Completely. We've completely flipped the culture. I miss, the, to, I miss the 80s and, and early that, 90s. that all had to do with not having channels 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, and 11. That's cable vision, social media, and everything. Ugh. And everything in personal. Do you guys remember when MTV was just music? Yeah, how about yes. this? Every Friday night at, at 10 o'clock, they'd have their world premiere video. Yeah. 
and eight billion people. You think pay per view gets a lot of people? MTV would get more. This is Adam Curry. There's nothing on the TV other than MTV. Remember that? Like being at home. I actually remember like being at home and just playing in MTV yeah. and just listening to music all day. All no day shows, fun. no reality, nothing. Just music. Exactly. Yeah, no. really Completely different. Wow. Just wow. Mm. Right, Rhonda? MTV, VH1, and BT. I know when I was growing up, my dad loved. <coughs> People forget that Don Imus was a superstar of VH1 for years. That's true. He was. I don't really care for it. I didn't care for him when he was around. Oh my God, VH1. That's right. They would play. That was like basically VH1 was George Michael station. <laughs> Yeah, they started putting all the um, the softer music, which the soft, is fine. Yeah, soft rock. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't think I've even turned on MTV or VH1 in over twenty years, probably. Oh, they don't really exist. MTV is just a shit show of crap. Yeah, I don't think mm -hmm. I've turned it on. I, in my favorite, my favorite show on VH1 was Pop Up Video. Oh yes, Kevin, <laughs> I remember Pop Up Video. Bloop. <laughs> yep. Bloop. <laughs> video. When Johnny was nine, he robbed the bank. <laughs> like, really? Wow, he's cool. Let's like him. He's a bank robber. Hey, we learned a lot of stuff from it, that right? Yeah. True. Oh my gosh, yeah. But 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 the brains. Listen, and I don't actually. I don't hate to say it. These kids nowadays aren't even being taught. They're being visually stimulated in order to pass the test. They're not being taught a goddamn thing because their home yeah, school life is not a goddamn right. Chromebook. Back then, we had to think about everything. We didn't have GPS. We had to think about how we're getting somewhere. We had to think about what was actually the words to a song and listen to the tape over and over going, uh -huh. what's she saying? And remember, you always had to press rewind and wait a few uh, no. seconds or minutes for it to rewind. That, like, continued on to a completely different page. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't keep a pencil in that car in case you had to rewind the cassette? Yep. I was just going to say that. No, oh, you were not. Beepers. Don't forget beepers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that, was the 90s. Oh my God. that was the 90s, though. I would love for them to be back. God, oh, my God. They're in colors now. I got to go get one. You know they can clone the crystal? Way down. <laughs> and then they had the beepers with the message or the sports scores. Oh, my God. That was super duper technology. Mm. Oh my god, everyone had a beeper. If you had two Mine beepers, is teal. I love the teal, and it was like the letter V, right? Bring up a lot of memories. That was the hottest thing when beepers came out, remember? Yeah. And Motorola owned the world. Everybody was like, I need a beeper. So the first time my beeper went off, I had it on my belt, you know, like you were supposed to wear it. And I was pumping gas, and it started vibrating, and I thought, for a second, that the gas was pouring all over my leg. She <laughs> hit the ground. She thought she was shot in the hip. <laughs> What's going on? That no. reminds me of that, that scene in Zoolander. My yeah. mom said, "Is your boyfriend a, a drug dealer? He's got a beeper." Yeah. Not mine. <laughs> no. Like, no. Actually, yes, but no. <laughs> he was a drug dealer, but who remembers Shell Oil? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and boobs. <laughs> well, Stay. of course, no. My immaturity. I did boobs all the time. Stay. Lay down. You do boobs all the time? You hey, Casey, Casey. Keep your feet on the ground when you reach for the stars. Heck yeah. I think I had a horrible story. A horrible oh, what his family did to him? Oh. Yeah, that was terrible. His wife. Ugh. Yes, Carolyn. It's probably the biggest um, a carrier, the biggest um, distributed phone. I, now you guys are making me miss it even more back then. I wish I could go back. Oh, yeah. I agree with you. No. Oh, yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. Hi, this is Martha Quinn. Favorite 80s movies I, back in the I, future. Exactly. I was just going to say the shows back then also were just so much more better than the crap they have today. Because they had great soundtracks. No. 
Exactly. I was telling my mom that the other day, Robin. I was like, you know what's missing from movies today that I see just because I don't listen to music today? But I, and I don't know if I'm wrong, but I, the soundtracks to movies yes. were made the movie. Yes. Well, it's like the only good soundtrack movies now are movies that are 80s <laughs> going back. Yes, to right. Yeah. Okay, can I ask a question here? I have it highlighted up here. Uh, Rhonda is saying 07734. Is that a code? <laughs> yeah, hello. it's hello. Upside hello. down. It's hello upside down. Hello. Oh, um, that's what you need to put on the beeper. Eight six seven five. And so yeah. is what is this one here? First, <laughs> that's that's boobs. <laughs> and one four three is I love you. Oh. So one and then yeah, one I four knew, letter three is you. Yeah, I knew that. Nine one one means get over here. I'm getting my ass kicked in the parking lot somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I had anything to do with anything like that. I'm just saying I've seen it in the movies. Right. Okay, coming to the doctor's appointment at 30. Oh no, really? I can't see the chat, dang it. Don't fight me. No. Why problem? are you doing this? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't want you to go in my room and, and I need to an at my doctor's too. It sucks. Susanna, mess up the dog. Talk to it in Portuguese until you send it home. Tu vai ir para casa? Para de fazer as coisas que estás fazendo. Estás mandando as almohadas? Não. Alrighty. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> wow, Rhonda. Okay, it's out there now. Wow, Rhonda. <laughs> you let's know that this is a Actually, let's go back to, to, let's go back to the 45. Yeah, let's get back to the 80s. <laughs> Rhonda, you know there's at least two. Like, le legitimately, panel. let's get back. Hi, Johnny. Right? Let's, let's grab Kim. Really, I just think it was 80s. so, I think it's much back then, I, I don't know, to me, uh, well, I grew up in the small town in Pennsylvania, but to me, everything oh, was just know. more simple and more fun. and. It was simple because we didn't know a goddamn thing when we knew everything. No internet. Yeah. That's why we didn't have internet. We no until the fucking streetlights came on, and then we had to go home. Yeah. Meanwhile, my girl, my girls are in shock that I didn't have a computer. They were like, "You didn't have a computer." Ow! I didn't have no cell phone, no computer. I said when I if no. I had to use a computer it was in the library at school. <sighs> and they were like, "You didn't have a phone." I'm like, "No, the only phone we had was one landline at home. That yeah. was it." Rhonda, you do you know there's at least two of us me? on this panel that are going to throw that number out there. We need more options, right? Wow. I'm going to be doing drive-bys on Shadow Woman's 45 now. <laughs> 45. Well, I just got, got mail when I, in the 80s, but that's because my dad was a big geek with computers and said that uh, Apple was going to go somewhere, and he bought us the first Apple. We also had one way before that. It was at K-Pro 10 or something, and it did biorhythms. It was, it was weird. Come get some. 45. The quicker more flicker. I'm Billy D. Williams for Colt 45. I learned what 69 was because my mom and dad's thing back in the day was 69. And I was like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Somehow, no, I'm not buying it. It's true. I'm not buying it. It's true. Okay, I'll, Do you guys I'll, remember I'll, the I'll commercial? Do you guys remember the commercial Crazy Eddie? I no. You don't? No. no. I, I work. I worked for them and the Wiz. Crazy Eddie's, Re re really? Yeah, I did. Let me tell you how long I worked for Crazy sure. Eddie's. Oh. Two days. Two days? Yeah, because I so got hired in nineteen eighty, right, nineteen eighty nine, in Massapequa, Long Island. Showed up for my first day. Thought it was kind of cool. Showed up my second day. Showed up my third day, and it was turtle wax on the glass. That's when he got arrested for fraud. <gasps> So I worked for Crazy Eddie for two days. So I went across the street and got a job at the Wiz. <laughs> okay, so what is Crazy Yeti? The, his prices were insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's still not telling me what it is. It was a big, Electric. huge commercial back then, Susanna, Electronics. that he used to come on and say, this is Crazy Eddie. Electronics. Yeah, TV, yeah, radios. It was Circuit City. Yeah, oh. I worked. I, I got sent to them from a company I worked for in New York to get all their information with their secret programming, and 
you have to take the training class in the bed break room for like a, a week and stole all their information when they tried to get a foothold in Long Island and they got they left and then they went they went out to, first of all they went out of business twice they used to be Lafayette if you remember Robin it used to be Lafayette Circuit City then they came back as Circuit City rebranded and they failed again because <laughs> they they treated every customer exactly the same which you can't do in the United States of America you're not treating a customer in Iowa the same way you're treating someone in New York. Or on the East Coast. You just can't do that. Right. They had a formula. If you didn't stick to it, they fired you. But I hated when Circuit City went out because then we had to absorb all their employees that worked at Best Buy. Oh. oh it was you, got all their, you got all their robots? All their bad habits, yeah. Oh, my God. Hi. How? I'm like, can I help you? All. Why are we bringing them in? <laughs> yeah, looking for that one out of ten that was decent. Makes me think of that movie, The 40 Year Old Virgin. Or yeah, that was done. Yep. Do you yeah. guys remember Woolworth? Yeah. 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 Uh, we yeah. didn't have that in the South. Did you, do you guys remember Apex? No, never heard of it. No, never heard of it. <laughs> Are you guys lying? No, I never heard of Apex. I never have either. Was that, is that a mechanical school or something? Technical school? No, it was it was like a Target. Uh, a I remember Caldor. Caldor, oh my God, Kevin! I remember Caldors. Yeah. What about Best? Yeah, Best Products. Oh, Service merchandise. Service. Oh, merchandise. you used to wait for that stupid damn thing to come off the conveyor belt three hours yeah. later. <laughs> Get your little ticket. <laughs> they had the biggest freaking book of stuff to buy, and you couldn't figure out how was all this in the back. Here's what Robin will remember. Do you remember Levitt's furniture? Yep. Oh, sure. Oh, <laughs> That's right. Oh, my it's God. I don't remember the jingle. My parents used to drag me to that fucking store. Yes, that drove me nuts. Rhonda, the oh, first TV Ames. I ever bought was when I, went to, when I went to college in Brockport. I went to Ames and, and down in Rochester and bought a TV and took it on the, <laughs> the bus back to campus. Yeah, I remember Ames. Did you guys have a Zares? I don't know yeah. where you come up with these names. <laughs> See, Melissa Cape just said Zares. Y'all are from Never. the East Coast, though, right? Yeah. Zares ain't from the East Coast. I'm from all coasts and in the middle, too, but I haven't heard of Zares. I don't think. There are X's to the left of you and X's to the right. Exactly, I think. Here you are, yeah, stuck in know. the middle with us. I don't know about you guys, but you know what I miss? Blockbuster. Yeah. Um, I so oh miss Blockbuster. God. I just love walking on a Friday night to pick up movies. Yes. yes. Didn't we talk about that, Robin, before? Yeah. Like, just you knew every Friday or Saturday, you're like, all right, I'm going to go rent like five movies for the weekend. You know what I liked about Blockbuster? It was like buying a lottery ticket. You'd like, grab it and be like, yeah, make you your way to the, to the counter going, we don't have this. You're like, oh. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Really? Can I go on the list that no one ever calls you and say, hey, you're <laughs> back? You know, because Justin doesn't know he even works there. <laughs> she should put your name on the list, man. Every kid at behind the counter blockbuster was stoned off his ass. And our record store was the warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did Sam Goody. Yes. I remember um, Sam Goody. Sam Goody. What was the other one? Oh my but the gosh. warehouse also rented videotapes, too. Yes. Sam Goody, what was the other? Record World. Basically, Record World started inside of TSS. Wow. Jane's Way? I don't I don't know Jane's Way. I've heard that name, but I'm not familiar with them. James Way, I'm sorry. Is that a grocery store? Probably a probably a probably a goods. Yeah. They've never heard of strawberries, but a lot of people have, you see. We had strawberries as well. Uh, we had Straw Bridge and Clothiers here in, in Philadelphia 20 years ago. I always thought Licorice Pizza was a, a ridiculously clever name for a record store. Licorice Pizza? Yeah. You know what I remember loving to do in high school when I used to go uh, shopping? I used to love to go to Hot Topic because yeah. Hot Topic <laughs> used to be the ultimate gothic store to go yeah, to punk rock. now yeah now <laughs> it's, it's just gay stupid. my mama yeah Gen now <laughs> now the stuff they sell is just stupid because uh i've taken my girls in there and i'm like looking around i'm like what is this shit in here this is not what i remember hot topic to be. we used to go on hot topic just to look at sebastian wearing manhole covers his earrings 
<laughs> it used to be like actually just gothic stuff, you know, gothic yeah. alternatives, yeah, you say, know, uh, metal stuff. I was going to say Spencer's. I think Spencer's yeah. was Spencer. in every single mall in the entire country. Yeah. And yeah. then one day, Spencer's. they were gone. <laughs> yeah. One day they offended one too many people. <laughs> exactly. No, That's we still have guy. Spencer's. Do you? Yep. We still have a Spencer's in our mall. I haven't been to the mall in Oof. Years, but... I, still think I went and see if they dusted their shelves in the last 20 years. Oh, my God. No, it's very popular. What was here. the place they used to For black light posters. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was the place they used to sell all the bonds and shit in the back of the store? And act like Spencer's. Didn't. That was Spencer's. Spencer's. No, that wasn't what it was called by me uh, up in New Spencer's York. It was, has um, it. was it Spencer's Gifts. I remember Spencer's Gifts. Maybe they did, too, but I never went in one. But there was another one. Oh, Lord. All magic mushroom posters, the black lights, everything there. Yeah. Who didn't have the Jimi Hendrix poster looking to the right? <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't have the Farrah Fawcett poster? I didn't. I, I was a Cheryl Ladd guy. I didn't have the Farrah Fawcett poster. I'm sorry. It would be pretty hot if you did. You know what's you know what her, you know what a shame is about Farrah Fawcett, but like a very little known fact. What? She died the same day as Michael Jackson, and no one even realized it. Yep. Wow. Hey, I did not know. You want to hear something? She Do got you zero. Know, I never had any guy posters on my wall, but I did have, and I should have, something was, some, it should have hit my bell in my brain. You know Joe from The Facts of Life? Yeah, yeah. Nancy McKeenan? Yeah, yeah, I had her on my wall. That should have <laughs> rang a bell. You I have her and Chris McNichol. Been. Chrissy McNichol, I too. Yeah. I had a hot poster of Slash. <laughs> it used to have a bar in, in West Hollywood called Peanuts, and Chris McNichol was there with um, Ida. Uh, what's the piano player's name? The real flamboyant guy. Liberace? Liberace? Ida Liberace is his, I think, his niece. And her and Chrissy got in a fist fight. In that bar the night I was there. <laughs> oh my god, gosh. The Is that the dog life. crying? The facts of life. Yeah. No, that was me. So only the last cookie. Oh. What about like Three's Company? Roseanne. Oh. Different strokes. One Different day at a time. Three's Company. We had yeah, amazing. You're, you're completely buried in the 70s, oh. Tania. I, I, I'm telling you, I don't move. That I'm still, I'm in that era. I do not like anything the last 20 years. Nothing. I now, watch still those we got, old we, shows. We, we got to bring up the bad of the 80s. New kids on the block, okay. really, really, <laughs> really. <laughs> what happened? Come on, hanging tough. Oh, whoa. I think everybody. They won't admit it. They liked one song of New Kids on the Block. Yeah, yeah. I did. I yeah, did. I love with Donnie Wahlberg. Come on. <laughs> He's probably top to bottom the most talented person to come out of that group. Yes, yeah. he is. You want to see him? He's a fabulous I, I actor. Talk about you you want to see? Yeah, I'll tell you how fabulous. You want to see a scene he did in the movie, which no one realizes is him. That was probably in, it's in my top five. Most in, yep, in my top five of most incredible movies. Yes. Uh, the part I've ever seen was Donnie Wahlberg in Six. He, he was the crazy kid in the beginning of the movie. Well, you don't have to ruin it for him. Now they're going to know who oh, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Shit, I'm sorry. You, you Midwestern women don't know when to shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come on. <laughs> Please don't go down. That's what I'm saying. It was, uh, you say it's bad of New Kids on the Block, but everybody loved at least one song. All right. It would sing it in their head. This is what's and bad about still, them. They're still fucking touring. No, oh, no. Gosh. Joe, Joe, Joey McIntyre has been on his own. He was smart enough not to get involved with them ever again. Actually, he did. He's back. He and what? They, they, yeah, they do a cruise every year, right around. He did October. what? Huh? Yeah, sorry, you. That was Kathy's bullshit alert going off. Please stand by. <laughs> no, they really, they really are back. Yeah. Why? Why? Because fifty-five-year-old women can't let go. The You're not marrying Joey. You're not going to go out with Jordan. You're not having an affair with Donnie. Nope. He's You're not going to go commit crimes with Danny Wood. You know, all of that's over. It's over. Oh, okay, Kevin, what else bad of the 80s besides new kids? Bad? Oh, my <laughs> yeah. Lord. So much bad. 
bad clothes. I don't know. No, I love the clothes. Okay. Oh, you girls with your real bright basket bracelets. And your, I'm sorry. I, and but your I, I, I all that shit back. It always and your back. Benetton oversized collared shirts. And oh, I know I do. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to wear men's jockey shorts as clothes. I, I love, love the turtlenecks. Huh? Turtlenecks? Turtlenecks. No self-respecting man will ever wear a turtleneck. <laughs> I was I was a grunge kid. I would I was always in the baggy him. ripped up jeans with like remember airwalks? Yeah. Oh, so you thought you were James Dean? Yeah, and the chain hanging from your pants. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. That no, was no, early no, 90s. No, no, no. That was no, like that started in the 80s. Right. Hey, there's a side question here. Rhonda wants to know how do you send a reminder for an invoice on PayPal? She can't find the option. Oh, you go and send them an email and say, hey, fuck hard, where's my money? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to get more coffee. Parachute pants, that was more, that was late. You know what? MC Hammer had it in 89. Yep. No, you don't have to cancel or resend. Ramin, uh, Rhonda, do you have I an iPhone? Now I can't get please don't go girl out of my head. Well, how about what became super popular in the 80s? I feel like me and Robin are the only two people that were at that age. You used to go to these restaurants that did nothing but fondue. Wow. Really, Kevin? Well, you're 48. You don't I told you you're not on the other side of the mountain yet. <laughs> oh, so I haven't flipped over the 50 hill, right? That's correct. Please That's take a place in line. I'm close enough. Holy shit. I'm, a I'm year only four years younger okay. than you. And I'm only four years younger than went you. Really, 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 really hard. We could see Larry at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> uh, Kevin's like 55 or 56 now. <laughs> I'm still 32. Change your mind. Turtlenecks. Ooh. Okay. Rhonda, <laughs> when you go into your PayPal, right? It's going to say, um, it'll tell you, you have. So, um, oh God, I can't even think of it right now. Um, invoices do you click on that. Once you go on that, it'll tell you. It should give you, you the option to send a reminder to pay. <laughs> and then on the, the top left hand corner, it says reminder. Yeah. yeah, some people check that the first day, and it's really annoying that if you get an invoice at 10 o'clock at night, you got to, your invoice is late, 8 o'clock the next morning. That burns on my ass. But I then it makes up for the time you forget to pay like, people. I always pay right as, as soon as I find it, but if you send it while I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'll, even I'll, I'll pay in the morning, but I get, get, get reminders sometimes. I'm like, damn. That makes up for the times when you don't check your mail for two days, and you're like, oh, shit. Right. <laughs> I've had recently I've had a couple of oh shit moments. And then I had one person being dumped into my and I don't even scan it, which I should, into my spam folder for quite a few reminders. And I and I'm one of those, you know, auction people, so I had to put the brakes on a bit. Not even remembering what the hell I fucking bought two days later. Shit, when it comes in the mail, I don't even know what it is. Oh, yeah, it's still a surprise. Oh, my God, man. Robin. What? What? Thank you so much. I, I just remembered. I opened it yesterday, and I'm so sorry I didn't open it earlier. I just brought everything in the house, and I set it down in, in the box that the postman brought it in. You, you sent me a unicorn. I, yeah. Thank you so much. I'd rather have a unicorn. Thank you so much to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, it said gift. It was written in... Uh, and on the bubble wrap, it said gift from Robin. And I was like, oh my God, how sweet. <laughs> You're always buying everybody everything. Thank so. you. I love it. Did you end up getting the one that I sent you as well? Well, I didn't send you. I bought it for you. Did you end up getting that? The um, sunflower brooch? Yes. Yes. I love <laughs> it. It would have been funny if you said no. What are you talking about? My mom loved it. Thank oh, so good. Much, so, are all you guys going to be on panel on Friday? How's this on go back? Remember when video looked like this? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's when you used to try to watch Escapade and, and when, the, when the lines will squiggle. Yeah. The first yeah. cable box, they would have to, they would have to, what you thought was porn channel. It was widescreen. And they used to wiggle. 
widescreen version. Okay, you hold down the channel one and 31, and then you can see Escapade if you shake your head along with the lines. <laughs> I need you guys all on panel on Friday because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. What's Friday? I don't know. That's my thumbnail. What the hell are, are we doing tonight? That's oh, thumbnail. we can go out there and have fake fights and shit. Just entertain people if you want. Oh. They just changed. They just changed um, PayPal, so nothing's where it was. At least on my app, nothing's where it was. I had a hell of a time yeah, last night. It's, it's all different. You're right. Yeah, I couldn't find a damn list of previous sales. I'm like, where did summary That's go? That's what I was looking for last night. I couldn't find any Fucking, history. Where's summary? It's on the dashboard now. Yeah. You know, you know, not for nothing, but websites like have been using dashboard for 20 years. Thanks for getting into the game, PayPal. They're like eBay, way behind the times. Yeah, but you know what? You gotta have PayPal for many reasons. It's you do, handy. yeah. It's really handy because you got people who will never change them to use that. I remember when I first got my PayPal account, like two thousand three. Right. I finally stopped getting the fucking uh, cash in the mail and the money orders and the personal checks from eBay when I was selling. <laughs> Hey, Rhonda, I, I, yeah, think PayPal, right oh. <laughs> I think PayPal is a big pain in the ass if you're trying to do it on your phone. It doesn't show you everything. Like eBay does now. You got to go digging for shit on your phone with eBay. I'm just, I don't even bother no more. It took me, it took me a whole day to find my shipping coupon uh, code to send to Larry for him to use it. Uh, it. I couldn't find it anywhere, even on the desktop version on my phone. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. I agree. Is Larry even the new PayPal app? There are more ways. <laughs> Larry. What are you? My favorite dinosaur. What are you doing? I'm I'm trying to get uh, having trouble printing labels. <laughs> <laughs> every move. I know the words to every move. I'll be watching you. <laughs> Hmm. I love the police. I had over a hundred. I had, I had over a hundred police pins. Classic teenage angst movies. Yep. Oh, like Breakfast Club. Breath, breath, uh, I want to say Breath Kiss because of Breath. Don't kiss you? Driver, what but... the fuck? Get out of town. She's a cartoon. <laughs> Saint Elmo's Fire. Oh, I love that movie. We had the best movies back then, too. That's one of my exactly. favorite movies, actually. My the Outsiders. The Outsiders. What about yes, the outsiders? Kevin. The Outsiders. Yep. Yeah. What about Pretty in Pink? <gasps> Heck yeah. yeah. Yes. What about Less Than Zero? Yes. I like that. Say, any, say anything. Say anything. Say anything. Say no uh, stand by me. You can put John Q. Second in a cartoon and I'll watch it. Uh, 16 Candles. <laughs> We had the best movies back yes. then. John yeah. Hughes was in. You guys are missing the number one classic, Fast Times. What's wrong with you? Yeah, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, baby. That's Woo. the one that started it all. You hey, go Bill. look at the cast in that Spicoli. movie. Spicoli. <laughs> John, Dude. he was awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hand, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it our time? Oh, Brad. Oh. <laughs> Holy. Let me tell you something. You he want to talk about somebody who's extremely Penn. underrated as an actor? Sean Penn is amazing. He is an amazing actor. He's just got I, have, I have the He's book, Fast Times at Richmond High. Amazing. I've been trying to sell that book, Fast Times at Richmond High. I have it's the rare book. I have it. You Maybe have the one graduated in Riverside, huh? which is where I was born. What, Kevin? <clears throat> You you have the one that's got not the not the photo. It's got the cartoonish type drawing on it. The, the etching, the green cover. No, I have the the one with the girl with the yellow skirt. Oh yeah. Look it up. That's the right. girl that's with the yellow skirt, the hardcover. With I have I have that with hard the cover. Picture, hard. yes, it's a hard. hard. Yeah, that's Jennifer Jason Lee was in there too, huh? Yeah. Yes. Dude, you see her now? She's banged up. Is she? Yeah. I just watched the movie the other night. I was like, that girl. I don't know how she didn't age. Nicely, because she was always cute for years. And Damone, didn't remember Damone? Right? Damone. Yeah. Damone. My favorite movie that she was in was The Hitcher. 
Yeah, that was a yes. good movie. Excellent movie. You know what? She's Remember Single one White one Female? Movie. Yeah. Single White Brid Female? Wasn't Bridget Fonda in that too? Yeah, Bridget yeah. Fonda. Yep. And she just was, outwardly just quit acting. He did. Fonda. I loved her in a Point of No she actually, Return. She actually came out and said, all right, I'm done. Okay, I have a question. Which 1987 Whitney Houston single became her fourth consecutive U.S. number one and her first U.S. platinum selling single? The Bodyguard? No. Nope. The fourth? Yeah, I want to dance with somebody? The 90s. I, want that, I think that might have been the first one. That, that was. Kim said the Goonies. Well, all four of those. All, yep. All I want to dance with somebody. On the same album. I want to dance with somebody. I know I can't seem like Whitney Houston, but you know. Okay. Who's saying don't stop believing? Journey. Journey. Yeah, journey. Or glee. Don't stop <laughs> believing. <laughs> Kathy, this we'll is, sing together. The Sopranos, yeah, the Sopranos did. <laughs> Didn't the Sopranos sing that? <laughs> they did. Which two pop stars <laughs> debut, uh, duetted on Ebony and Ivory, which became a number one hit in 1982? Eddie Murphy and Paul Joe Piscopo. Paul McCartney and... Um, McCartney and uh, uh, the blind guy. The blind guy. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I suggest you guys go on YouTube and see Joe Piscopo and Eddie Murphy. That's who did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, guys. Ebony Wonder. and Ivory. Wonder. Stevie Who's Wonder, and Paul McCartney. McCartney. You are black, and I Paul am McCartney. White. Life's an Eskimo pie, so let's it not fight. Richie, it was uh, the blind guy. I said it three times now. Stevie Wonder, she, she's not yeah, listening. Stevie. No, I can't no. hear you over Kevin's big mouth. <laughs> I wasn't the one who was talking. It was your big mouth talking over Robin. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was Lionel Richie. Nope. No. Oh. DeBarge? No. Nope. What was the question? Oh, <laughs> hell, DeBarge was. <laughs> <laughs> which two pop Harding? stars duetted on Ebony and Ivory, which became Robin number one? Robin answered that question four times. I know. Stevie you Wonder guys... and Paul McCartney. Wonder no. Well, who the okay. fuck was it? <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Oh. But no, it wasn't. No, it really? wasn't. That's what it's saying. That's wrong because it was fucking what Robin said. I can't remember it right now. Well, I have Michael never. Jackson wasn't even Ebony at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that, that answer is completely wrong. Yeah. Well, there's the answer right there. <laughs> well, tell that website you found an error. Error. I guess. That's wrong. Then, then who is playing the piano? Because Paul McCartney don't play the piano, neither does Michael Jackson. I know, but it's Stevie Wonder video. does. I've got a video of it right here. Oh, it's Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney. That's. Yeah. That'd be Stevie Wonder. Holding here. Oh, I got the cartoon thing on. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you could get, what is that, Mod Squad? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, the banana didn't sing it either. Oh. There's no face on the screen. There we go. <laughs> Sing it, Chitake. <laughs> now, Robin, you have to play Joe Piscopo and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. You're going to laugh your ass off. I've seen it. Oh, it's hilarious. We Joe also had the best Saturday Night Live for saying what word, Kevin? Fuck. Yep. We also that, that actually ruined his freaking. I don't know what happened. His career. To that guy. Yeah. 
Then he became a steroid abuser. Yeah, it ruined his career. It ruined his life. Man, talk about going from the blank house to the outhouse, penthouse to the outhouse. He did a great Sinatra, too. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Robinson's neighborhood. Next. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy was hilarious. He was oh my god! Comedians. My mom and I dad had, I had delirious me memorized. Goonie Goo Goo. Goonie Goo Goo Gus. Oh no, Jesus Christ! God help Your me. Your wife please. is a Goonie motherfucking Goonie, Goonie Goo Goo. <laughs> That's a Goonie Goo Goo. I got some ice cream and you don't I got, got none. <laughs> and your mama's on the welfare. <laughs> your daddy's an alcoholic. <laughs> Did you see they made a Coming to America too? Yeah. I who who choreographed that. the first Coming to America? Paul Abdul. Paul Abdul. That's right. <laughs> That's my answer to everything for like the next month. Till I know. Right? The word choreographed and it's Paul Abdul. <laughs> Who choreographed that bathroom movie? That bathroom scene in that bathroom movie? Poor oh, cool. <laughs> Hey, the stray cats were a good Brian. Oh, I love the stray cats. Blah, 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 blah. I actually worked with Brian Setzer. Really? Yep. Oh, I you know what? I even like liked him after he left the Stray Cats and he did the Brian Setzer Orchestra or whatever it was. Brian Setzer Orchestra is incredible. Yes, yeah. it is. He's now, an incredible and, musician. And I think my at, aunt, who was born in 67, who's five years older than me, she she gets credit for all of my music what the loves. Fudge was the name of the drugstore before it became Eckerd. It was something else. And I, we, I worked there a week with him. What the hell was the name of it? Oh, I've never heard of anything other than Eckerd. Oh, this was before Eckerd. No, I know, but I'm saying. Shit. <laughs> if it was Genev Genevieve's, Genevieve's Drug Stores. Wow. Yeah. First That's time awesome, Kevin. I've had run ins with everybody in Long Island. I, hey. sa <laughs> I sat there and did Coke with Mariah Carey. Went, I'm going to be a superstar. And we're like, you're a bar whore. And then she became a superstar. She had a boyfriend. Caroline says Converse or Vans. No vans, no vans in the eighties. No, airwalks. No, no Converse either. Yeah, I was Puma all Clyde's. about Converse and airwalks. Puma Clydes, man. Pumas, man. Ugh. Yeah, I'm but still was, on just Converse and vans. I was right wearing now. leather deck shoes vans, by then. Vans, vans were, were a big thing. Yeah. Converse. Yeah, those were seventies. Yeah. What about pro kids? <laughs> Jordan well, we all wore our white kids in the 80s. Oh, my God. Vanderbilt. Was, well. The designer jeans craze was insane. Uh, George Marciano. Yes. Marciano's, yeah. Mom's like, I'm not paying $80 for a pair of jeans. So what I did was I, I spent $20 on a pair of socks that had the guest uh, uh, logos thing patch sewn on it. And I took that off and I sewed it onto the back of my jeans. <laughs> my mom was like, you better get a job. I got to drive at 14 to pay for that shit. Oh, we found the original I poser. Like Cassie, you're the original poser. I am, right? No wrong with that. That's being creative. That's because people made you feel like that. Oh, she don't they have a did. They, you know what? I went to a school where they made you feel like you had to have all that crap oh, and yeah. all the parents were rich um, and all that you stuff. Don't have, you don't have Benetton? You're a loser. You were in California, right, Kathy? Uh, well, I was in California until I was 12, and then I moved to Mississippi when I was 12. So, I, I kind of, yeah, but it, it was more in Mississippi than anything else. And, of course, you know, the South was two years behind everybody else in fashion. It's amazing that, you know, I remember in the early 80s, Nike was like a shit brand, actually a shit brand of sneaker. They only had like two or three oh, versions. Oh, like white and we, we wanted, oh, yeah, Reebok. 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 The oh, high top Reebok. The one with the girls. High top Reebok. Yes. With the big scrunchy socks. That's yes. Physical. Yes. Physical. <laughs> Larry, that's your song, honey. Nope, that's his outfit. He's got to go find high top Reebok on eBay and pink leg warmers. <laughs> and then do a full length doing his jumping jacks. Is that? 
I used to make fun of my mom because she would wear a leotard and do her exercises in the middle of the living room watching Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. <laughs> and then, hello, it's Richard Simmons. <laughs> the guy never lost an ounce, but he was making millions. <laughs> Did he pass away, Richard Stephens? Everyone keeps saying that, but he's not dead. He's not dead now. How old is he now, right now? Oh, like he's 97. He's in his 70s, like my mom. Oh. Dum, 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 dum. Who's Aaliyah? Is that the girl who went down with the plane in, like, 96? Yeah, she died in a, a crash. Oh, so she, she was 90s. Thank I was you. upset when uh, Kirk Cobain died. I was too. Oh my I was so upset. He, oh my God. It happened right before. I don't think he killed himself. How about that? Oh, he did. I don't, I don't think Neither he did. Neither did I. Neither do I. I don't think I don't so either. I think he was, I think he was murdered. Yep. yep. Me well, too. if you don't kill yourself, odds are you were murdered. <laughs> now, do, you, do, you, who, do you guys think maybe Courtney Love has something to do with it? Yeah, I do. Nah. I do. I think she hired somebody to kill him. No, she was. She's not that smart, and, and anybody she ran around with couldn't keep their mouth shut. I think she did it. She's. You think she actually did it herself? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, I feel like somebody killed him, but I would, I'm on the fence if it was actually uh, Courtney Her, Love that did it herself. Because yeah. that I was out of nowhere. Like, uh, not, I don't know. I know he was like really fucked up with drugs and everything like that, but he was not so big. But she fucked herself if she did it. He was oh, so not big. really because she not got really. the copyright for all his songs. Actually, she didn't follow the money and then she sold them and made millions. Yeah, oh, wow. well, she and had her own band, she had her own band, Hole at the time. Yeah, they were failing, they, they sucked. Hole still sucks. You know, I think maybe Chris Novosella killed him. You don't see him anymore. No. <laughs> And Rhonda says never, he, she thinks he did it, that he was and, too many drugs. He did it himself. And you can never, ever, 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 ever become bigger than the Foo Fighters have. Talk about being held back. He was held back in that band. I didn't like Nirvana. I thought they were just not, I mean, it was just unlistenable to me. He is an amazing person. Nirvana? No. Yeah. Foo Fighter. Foo Fighters. Oh. The drummer for Nirvana. I can't think of his name right now. I know you just said it, Kevin, but I have CRS, so I can't remember shit. What the hell is CRS? Can't remember shit. Oh. <laughs> was there I medicine have, for that? Short term memory. Full <laughs> fighters are huge. Dave Grohl, that's his name. He's a super nice person. He's just a nice He is person. a very nice human being. He is. He's, a, He's a rock and roller. And I tell you what, a drummer who's underrated, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Stella Hawkins is an amazing drummer. Gets no no credit. Anyway, skateboard or surfboard? Neither board. You know who's Skate an underrated drummer? The drummer for the Go Go's. Yeah. The rhythm like you would not believe. Well, I'll tell you what, she did a lot of unknown uh, studio. Drumming yeah. for a lot of bands. She got. She probably made more money than Belinda Carlisle. I love yeah. the go-go. A good student musician that you'll never know their name makes millions. Yeah, they do. Definitely they a, skateboard. Oh, in the eighties, there was no boards. Skateboarding went out in seventy-eight. Well, Caroline said skateboard or surfboard. I say skateboard. Oh, just for now. Or boogie board. My my aunt was into skateboarding, and I used to watch her ride it, but. I never got into it because it was late, later in the 70s. It's a little bit of overlap. Overlap. Oh, we're forgetting I, about swatch watches. I don't like the undertow. <laughs> I get caught all the time. Swatch, yes. Susanna, you have any more I questions? Where'd she go? Buy me one of those. She was like, I'm not saying that kind of money in a watch. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, I'm not sure. always said you better get a job. <laughs> they wouldn't let me have a job <laughs> no i got a job my first job i was a banquet waitress at 14 that was my first job and i kept it for like four years throughout yeah. high school and everything my parents wouldn't let me work <laughs> yeah. my mom's like you better get a job if you want those jeans 
that was their first mistake. <laughs> they should have let me have a job. Yeah, my sister worked at a fruit stand for like a local orange grove in California. And so I would go to work with her and get extra money that way to go buy cassettes. And I remember buying Prince Dirty Mind and Controversy. It was one cassette, one on one on each side. And I had to hide it from my mom because it was such a filthy album. <laughs> I right. hear that cassette jingling in your pocket next to your Tic Tacs. Yep. <laughs> Look, my Saturdays existed of when I was like like eight or nine. I would ride my bicycle three miles to the Kmart and buy the little uh, 33 records. And the, and the first one I bought was Van Halen um, <laughs> Jump. And it had the the angel baby smoking a cigarette or something. And I brought that home. My mom was like, what the hell is that crap? <laughs> Jump was on Diver Down. Ooh, do you guys remember Song Hits magazine? But it but but it was the 33 single. It was Oh, the single. Yes. Yeah, the a record? Single. In 1983? Jeez. A 12 inch single? Yeah. Wow. No, no, no. no. I'm surprised a, Tanine's not bringing up the best horror movies of the I don't know if that's I was quite 12, surprised. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, we can bring them up. The it classics? Was, you it mean was the, the one you had to put the little thing, the little tab in yeah. in order to make 45. it work your record player. Wow. We could bring up the classic. You still have that? Who me? Yeah. No, I wish I did. Oh. But my mom was like, I, "There's no smoking allowed in this house." <laughs> my dad smoked, but you know, I'm just saying. She was like, "I can't believe you bought that." <laughs> As much as I hate horror movies, there was a lot in the eighties, one cheesier than the other that was just funny to watch. Yeah, but they were and but they were just classic. Like you couldn't not like yeah, them. like yeah, April Fool's like Day. Classics. I watched yeah. everything between my three fingers. I would <laughs> clinch them off. I mean, I want to see what was you going have on. the classic Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Jason, Hellraiser, Exorcist, the Pumpkinhead. You know, Child's Play, My Bloody Child. Valentine. Right. Yeah. I think the scariest movie of the 80s and as horror, I don't know, is it even considered horror? It was Children of the Corn. That was some spooky shit. Yeah. Phantasm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, hold on a second, Tina. The original Phantasm, I think, is 77. Is it? And yeah. that was amazing when that ball came out of nowhere and drilled a hole yeah. in the guy's head. I was like, what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> I was like, damn. Chucky was in the 80s, wasn't he? He was. Oh, it was hilarious with. When Catherine Hicks picks up the doll and looks at these little batteries, he turns around and goes, you couldn't leave well enough alone, you F and C. I was like, did they just say that in the movie? <laughs> you said the C word when I was a kid. That was like grounds for being like publicly murdered. Yeah. Oh, God. I was like, no. I don't. And then, it, then it became so funny whenever you'd see it. Like, you'd hear bup, 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 the little fucker running across the screen. Right. <laughs> He's not dying. Ugh. Pumpkinhead was scary. I never saw any of the Halloween movies. No? At all. Yeah. It was, remember Cat's Eye? Poltergeist? Yeah. Oh, Poltergeist <laughs> is great. Carolyn. I don't think this was, this wasn't considered horror or not, but I love this movie, The Witches of Eastwick. Damn. I love that movie. Yes. Well, we almost watched it the other night. Instead, I had to suffer through. Death Becomes Her? Yes! Oh my God! With Meryl Streep. <laughs> what about the original Changeling? Yes. With yes! George C. Scott, that was great. Yes! The stepfather was spooky. Fright Night, Sleepaway oh Camp. God, I love Fright, Fright Night. Night. The Lost Boys. Did I say that? The Lost Boys is a good one too. Baba, dun, dun, dun. Just the first one, though. I didn't care for the second. Hey, Cassie. What? No, don't do it, Kevin. <laughs> no. The original Texo uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Evil yep. Dead. Those are clap like that. Those are movies I still watch. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Let me go kill all my friends. <laughs> okay, folks, I gotta take off. Thanks a lot, Susan. Yeah, like you, you got important stuff. He's an important man. Good for Larry, you. Larry's on a mission. No. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. See, see you later. Take care, Larry. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. My. What are you doing? What about the Evil Dead? That had Yes. Bruce Campbell. And didn't that have Ron Howard's brother in it? Clinton Howard. Clinton Howard, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that movie was kind of like, listen, but still in the top five scary things, when she turns around and the little girl goes, they're here, I'm like, yes. They're here. Yeah. <laughs> well, black and white. Everybody, got everybody has to remember. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, coming for four, you. Four, better lock your I, I have a trivia question for Cassie and Cassie alone. <laughs> Cassie? What? Stay up late. I have a I have a trivia question for you. Oh shit. And okay. only you. Okay, I'll try. Who was the first person killed in the original Nightmare on Elm Street? Oh, fuck me. Um the blonde huh? girlfriend, right? The blonde girl? Yeah. Who's the second person killed in the Nightmare on Elm Street? <laughs> I don't Her remember. boyfriend. No, he wasn't killed. No, he wasn't no, killed. No, he was killed. Was he? The original Freddy Krueger, who's the Spencer. first male to be killed in that movie. I don't remember. He got sucked That's through the bed, Robin. Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp. Depp. Yeah. Yep. Boy, I, boy, I, just, I hope that guy grew up to have a good career. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard much about that, dude. <laughs> He's just fucked up in the head. That's all. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he is. No, I think it's all. In I'm not buying him fucked, and I'm not buying Joaquin Phoenix is fucked up in the head. Though he's closer to being fucked up in the head than Johnny Depp. Definitely. Especially I'm not buying wa Joaquin's. Uh... Oh shoot! You remember Videodrome? Yeah. War games. Did you say horror games? War, war. Oh, <laughs> war games is a horror movie. No, I wasn't talking about horror movie. War games. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> War games is a good. You want to play a game? Yeah, right. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> oh, what about that movie, The Sing? When the guy's sitting at the table and the other guy's head falls off and he runs under the table, and goes like, "You gotta be fucking kidding me!" Yeah, that that was scary <laughs> movie. The Blob. The Shining was in 1982, wasn't it? I didn't, never saw that though. What The Shining? Yeah, I never saw that. I'm not a Jack Nicholson fan at all. Well, we watched it, but I can't. I just, it scares me to death. I just, it's a. I was obsessed. Fuck movie. I have that app that puts your face on an actor's face during a scene. And I made one of The Shining of Kim and T. You guys <laughs> Oh, not. Hold on. We don't want. Him. Hold on. I was obsessed with the movie. Oh, Beast you're Master. Shataki. I didn't see. I can't. I'm not even looking at my phone. I'm just talking. I don't know if I was obsessed with the movie that's Beastmaster him. or I was obsessed with Tommy Roberts. Maybe he should be taken to a doctor. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> that actually that suits see, them. Wait till you see my Halloween special thing. I made character like scary. Oh my scary. god. Like I think Kim turned out the sc One, scary. Kim just turned out the coolest. Rhonda's coming for you. Do you know that um, Rhonda's actually my favorite on there? Yeah, it's her, she did well. Like her picture. This is Wes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like, I made him really scary. Wes also played Freddy. <laughs> oh yeah. Where nightmares have made of yep. Susanna, I want to hear about your life in the eighties. Yeah. Where'd you live? Yeah. Lived in Fall River. <clears throat> Susanna. Susanna. You really don't want to hear about my life in the 80s. It's very, very boring. Well, that means that you're much less <laughs> fucked up than the rest of us. Yeah. What's boring? What's boring that, about it? Oh, my God. You had a decent life. We hate you. Uh, it's not going to be said. <laughs> you know? Terrible. Shame on you. No, I tell us. I, what was the first mischievous thing you ever did as a teenager? Oh my God. Um, That's way too long to think. Me and Robin would have had 14 things by now. <laughs> you see, when you break that 50, 52 to 55, mm -hmm. we, we kind of got a little bit of the sevens in the and the 80s were just like, I don't give a right. shit and doing everything. No, I, so, I don't know. I mean, as much as my, my, Mom thought I was like uh, really, really ever, bad girl, ever, but I never went out. I went to school. Bad girl, and, how? Like I didn't I didn't snort coke or anything like that. No. Wow. We're trying to start out low here, Kathy. You jumped right into the drug abuse. <laughs> There's a ladder that you go through here. Did you oh, ever I, I, sneak I, I, out of the house? I just jumped right into the coke. No. Did, were you ever late for a curfew? For a what? For a curfew. I wasn't even allowed out of the house. How could I be late for a curfew? Okay, so... You had one of those kind of mamas. Oh, Lord. Right. You had one of those not-my-daughter moms. Right. Those are the best girls to break out of their house. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> Once they get out of the house, they're like, hello! <laughs> the cats are school girls. You're 100% you're right. It's just like um, freedom, yeah. Freedom. I understand keeping your children close to the vest. I mean, I was—I I have to admit, with Craig, I was more of a helicopter. But um, <laughs> he yeah. was—he was, he was kind of had that smart gene like I did. So it would be, you know, him trying to outsmart me, which was quite funny. But he never did anything bad that I know of yet. Yeah, but you were a good dad, though. Oh well, I knew I knew how not to be a bad one. Right. Yeah, I'm I, had, I had the easy road, but Craig is just—he's just like me, which is why I started to see it, and then that's when I planned to come down here. And you started. know that you're—you have to give kudos to your dad for that, because your dad <laughs> did teach your dad did teach you something, no matter what. Yeah, everything not to do. Dad, Right. Everything that not to be. So he did teach you something. I don't give credit by default <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to right. anyone. You just kind of sugarcoat it. Oh, I was nine the third time I was put through a wall. But thank God that happened because I knew the wall would break and I have to pay a lot of money to repair it. So I didn't put my son through the wall. <laughs> oh <my God>. No. <laughs> I remember, oh my God, I remember when my kids were small. My oldest son. He came home with a bad grade. It was like a C. Oh, right? my God. And my ex-husband was so mad because my, dad. my oldest son is very, very intelligent, hands-on. And if he puts his mind to the books, he's extremely intelligent. So my ex-husband said, really? You don't want to study? You don't want to do anything for school? And better, you're bringing me a C? He took his Game Boy... Went downstairs in his workroom. He did. He took one of those sledgehammers and just crashed it. And I'm like, "What did you just do? Because next week you're gonna go buy him another Game Boy." <laughs> I'm like, "You just 
Like, yeah, I never, I have never understood that. <laughs> it was wasted money. Like, take the TV away, take this, that, or whatever. But don't break objects because you're just gonna go out and buy them again. Now I understand why I love this hand sanitizer. It's made with hemp. There you go. My hands, my fucking hands are numb. Nice. <laughs> so the '80s. So you did nothing mischievous at all. No, I think I did one time. Yes. One one time. I, one, one time at band camp. I went to. I was going to school, and well, actually, no, it was premeditated. So the night before, my friend said she wanted to skip school, and I was just like, "Oh, oh my God, no!" And at that time, I had my life. Did you what? And my dad worked construction. And he would park his car con construction. And my dad parked his car down the north end of the city, and I knew where he parked oh. his car. So I took the extra thing of keys, uh, and in the morning I took the bus there and went to go pick up the car, and then I went to pick up my friend, and we went to the beach. When I came back, you know, I went to go drop off the car, took the bus back home, and made it off like nothing happened. Mm. Well, I did not get caught at all. But my dad came home and he says to my mother, he goes, Maria, you want to know something? And my mother's like, what is it? And he said, every day for the past 10 years, I've parked the car in a specific place. And today it wasn't there. And I remember <laughs> parking it there, but my car was down the street. Parked. <laughs> you parked it in the wrong spot. I parked it in the wrong spot. Well, my father never ever even questioned me he went off on my brother like a big time my brother got a beaten he you my father was me? huh and you didn't fess up to it i i fessed up when my daughter was two years old oh shit <laughs> So let me get this straight. You weren't mischievous, but you stole a car and you were uh, a party to a an, a, a, a battery. Yeah. An assault yeah, and battery. I so. But I didn't look at it that way. That was that's my pretty, father's car. That, that's pretty top-notch stuff. Yeah. You're in the club. I'm, I'm actually yeah. quite proud of you. And then never again did I ever do anything like that because I was so scared. I Oh, my well, God. You stole a car and got someone beat. That's pretty much uh, next thing's murder. Yeah. Yeah, but that that's about it. Like what drugs have you done? Pot. All of them. What? That's it? <laughs> that's it? That's it. Wow. Not you didn't try anything just once, only once? Nope. Never started a line of coke? Really? I've never seen Coke in front of me except on TV. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Who said it burns, wow? Let me tell you. <laughs> I've seen a lot of it in front of me. Really? Yeah, right? <laughs> I've seen it disappear in front of me. Me too. With a <laughs> Man, Coke was amazing. Yeah. There, was, there was a time that every time I sneezed, it cost me $40. <laughs> <laughs> right? Achoo, son of a bitch. Damn, I just, I just, just sneezed out my Coke. Mm -hmm. And I, I, never I, got drank. To... I never drank while I was in high school. Um, really? You uh, never you never drank Mad Dog 2020? Mad Dog 2020. You never did no. Boone's Farm shit-ass wine? How about Kanai? Remember when Kanai was popular? Thunderbird. <laughs> yes. What's that? Kanai wine. <laughs> they strictly made it for teenagers to get for $4. Yeah. <laughs> the only it's thing is not the cheap liquor. The only thing is, is, like, my dad used to make homemade wine, and we would have, like, half a cup during, you know, our supper because, I mean, I can remember this going back when I was, like, five, but my dad would give it to us because it was good for it was Wait good a second. You were drinking at five years old? Yeah. You know, homemade to tell us you did nothing wrong? <laughs> but I don't see anything wrong with that because it, it's... It was I know, and, I call, and there's a lot of cultures that everybody gets wine. Yeah, yeah. I my aunt was Italian, so we had wine for dinner. Like it's like an I inch. A lot of wine and a lot of drinking. A twenty-two automatic in my blanket. Sorry, I'm just flashbacking. 
I didn't think anything wrong with I don't No, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm pretty much I'm like what the government hates. I'm a conservative liberal. Right. Yeah, it's good for the blood. It was it was good for the blood, good for the heart. That's what my father said. And even when I was pregnant, my dad would say, Have a half a glass of wine. See, I started with my dad um, mm. wanting his little girl to go get him a beer while he was working on his cars in the garage. Mm -hmm. And then he would say, crack it open for me or pop the top off or, you know, whatever kind of Mickey's Big Mouth. Molly, what are you doing? So I would always get the first sip of, off of all of his beers. So, Susanna, have you ever killed a dog? I'll ask you again tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Good for the blood. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sounds like poop in the living room to me. <laughs> I am going. I do oh, not know what boy. I'm going to do. Honest to God, you are so bad. What? Oh, what bit. am I going to do with you? Bad. I've never in my life. Oh my God, you are so punished. You're going in a tote. That's where you're going. You're not even going in the small like You're going in the big toe, so you don't jump oh, out. Shit. <laughs> That's it. Get in this toe. You are destructive. Christine, uh, Susanna, you, you might want to mute this now before this. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're going to hear a power tool. <laughs> Come here, you son of a bitch. I'm triggered. Oh, what dog? <laughs> you are not getting out. No, you're in this toe. No, that's it. You, that's it. Your privileges are gone. But you sit right here and you don't whine. You don't do nothing. You tore that to shreds again. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Sounds like a bad day that was on. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> Once she said tearing to shreds, I was like, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> don't look at me with those puppy eyes. No, you don't. No, you then look don't. away. Look away, look away, look away, look away. You are so punished. Oh, my God. Do you know? <sighs> what did she tear up? I sold a pair of Marvel socks, brand new in a package, oh, right? Shit. She tore the bag, took the socks out of the original package, and she, no, that's right, go to sleep, you. <laughs> Note to self, do not go to dinner at Susanna's house. I know, right? <laughs> you stay in that box I locked you in. <laughs> you think about what you did. I can't believe, don't even look at me. Tina's going to come wandering in going, oh, you want to watch the fucking dog? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You're a bad girl right now. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared right now. Yeah, right. That's all I oh, just buy puppies. She does have chew toys. She doesn't want them, Carol Ann. I give her all the chew toys she wants. She doesn't want them. She wants other stuff. <laughs> Guys. Look what she did to my wire this morning before coming on. Holy shit. Do you see? <laughs> she bit through. How what did about what she you get electrocuted? What about when you don't know what she did? At least she didn't poop on the floor. She did! I love that dog. What's she wrong with her? The whole baby. Had she peed on a puppy pad and then decided to go down the hallway and poop on the That's on the carpet. Hilarious. That's right. I'm talking about you. Sometimes you just let the poop stand until it dries. It's easy to pick up. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll smell a little bit, but you know it's just easier. Caroline, I have a Kong. You know the Kong? And you put the peanut butter on the inside? Well, when the peanut butter is gone, she wants nothing to do with the freaking Kong. Well, if you took a peanut butter out of a peanut butter cup, I'm not eating it either. Right. I mean, hey, it's a puppy. 
She's These a puppy. Happen. That's, that's the big thing. She's a puppy. She doesn't know any better. If I had a joint right now, I'd smoke it. And blow the smoke in the dog's face. I know. Yeah, that's what we used to do. Right up their nostrils. Put that fucker right to sleep. <laughs> Yo, you got any dog it's biscuits, My dog man? would be naughty. <laughs> so, where did Tania go? Prayers. Tania ran away. I know. She's doing somewhat better today. This car goes from middle. Oh, wow. Well, thank God she's better. Please, you don't bring me flowers anymore. Don't you? No. You stay right there. Really? That, that brought me back to being in the car with my mom in L.A. Driving Your softness. You don't bring me flowers anymore. <laughs> You be not bringing two flowers to me, never no more again. <laughs> to me, me to you. That was one of the funniest things that ever happened to me in 7 Eleven. We also had a lot of serial killers back in the 80s. Well, that's when they started actually catching them. Right, but I mean, I mean, there it's more. Pro it was more prominent back then than. So let's it is see. Now. The last two major statements Kathy made same. was, "You didn't do coke, and let's talk about serial killers." Okay. Look, my brain just works funny. I'm sorry. Wherever it is you live, just you know, stay there. We had the Hillside Strangler out in California. Yep. Uh, a couple of times, my mom and I got stuck on the side of the road with car trouble. And she was always freaked out about, you know, <clears throat> us getting, I, I don't know, abducted or something by some weirdo. And there was a couple of weird things that happened to us, but she remembers I don't. But I'm just saying. Well, it was a scary time back in the 80s. Yeah. I learned. I went to high school with a girl that had her arms chopped off on the side of the freeway. What? Yep. Oh, oh my god. Goodness. The only reason she lived is because he used a blunt axe and that helped stop the bleeding as bad. Wow. Another the, another one of the girls that worked at the fruit stand that we worked at got abducted and taken up into some cave in the hills in Corona. My best friend and I almost got abducted in, in, in grade school. Um, some guy pulled up in a car and we were walking home from school and he <laughs> He said to my friend Jennifer, he didn't know her name, but he said, your mom called me and your uncle is in the hospital or something like that. And y'all, y'all need to get in the car and come with me so we can run to the hospital. And I was like, Jennifer, run, run. And we ran. He was trying to fucking get us in his car. Yeah. <clears throat> Where did Tania go? Her computer crashed. She had uh -oh. to restart it. There's Molly in a crate. Crate training is the best. That's how I train my dog, and they learn to potty training easier as soon as they wake up. Out for potty, and then every half hour, then potty. Hmm. Hey, Wes, I, I saw your wonderful picture. I'm not just saying. He hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> Wes, I didn't see a damn thing, Wes. Hey, Wes. <laughs> Don't know what I'm Wes talking about. Wes is awake? What the fuck? Dude. Caroline, I'm going to show you. Right now, she's not in a crate. This is what I have her in. Are you? I'd be fucking pissed at you, too. Yeah, That's what she's in. Fucking crate. I'd be mad. <laughs> Don't box me in. You put a top on it? No. No top on it. Is there a towel on the bottom? There's a... There's two blankets, one on the bottom oh, and one going you. over her. You're a softy. Uh, <laughs> and you want to solve all your problems, put a top on it. <laughs> and then drill some holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> She'll feel really punished at that point. It's my daughter's dog. It'll breathe. It's not going to die. I mean, apparently your daughter hasn't taught it any behavior yet. How long have you had it? She went to, she's going to obedience school. Obedience so, school doesn't do shit most of the time. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. She went to obedience school, so. There, you know what? My dad took our first dog, Chocolate, when I was four, to obedience school. And they made him do such mean stuff 
that he was crying and he took 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 him out of it because of how mean the treatment was. That was back in the seventies, but maybe things have changed. I don't know. Obedience school is for the the people who own the dogs. <laughs> yeah. I have a whole different type of obedience school that I run. We're not getting into that. No, Carolyn, I just put her in here to be punished now. She's not in this all the time. She's punished right now. Ah. No. She does have, she has one of those, it's like at my daughter's house, it's, it's <clears throat> a, like plastic fence, like a big, huge crate. And she goes in there. She has a bed. She's got her food in there. She's got this in there. Well, why don't you have that at your house too? Toys. If you're going to babysit her. That way she's familiar. You know what, Kathy? What? You are 100% right. It, it's familiar to her. And she's only, what, three months old? Think about it. Three months. You've been on the earth three months. You, you should get the same thing that she's got at home so that you have it there at the house so that it's familiar and she does the same stuff. She's at oh, your house, she's at Granny's house, or, or whatever you want to call yourself. So she's running wild. <laughs> I'm going to get one. That is a very good idea. Take me, Grandma. She punishes me, right, Bobby? Oh. I'm not used to having pets, guys. I really, I'm not. I'm yeah, not a pet Mark, person. She's not a pet person. No. I've had dogs my whole life and yeah. cats, so. <clears throat> I mean, I love her, and she's so beautiful. And <sighs> They're like little kids. Well, I don't know, but just saying. It seems like they're like little kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She's sleeping. Oh, Shh. now she's sleeping. Now she's sleeping. Everybody be quiet. Everybody whisper. Ah, the gardeners are here, not mine, but the neighborhood. Sorry. Oh. Are the bushes being whacked? Ah, they're mowing the common areas right now. <laughs> <laughs> are they whacking your bush? <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord. <laughs> I don't like you any more, Grandpa. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta do something. What's Tania doing it for? She doesn't know and wants us on her panel? Tomorrow, uh, Friday night. Oh, so hey. today is free. Ain't gonna make mm -hmm. some money today. Today's good news and story time. Can we drop links, please, Susanna? I mean, really? Yeah, go ahead. Knock yourself out. I didn't tell anybody not to. I don't know how to do that. I can't drop my link because I'm on StreamYard. But no I'm on StreamYard too. Subscribe, so it doesn't matter. I think. I'm sure Robin knows how to do it. Okay, Everybody, know. drop your links. Drop your pants. Drop your pants. <laughs> drop your pantalones. Hey guys, yeah. while I have everybody in the chat too, if you guys have eBay stores, Poshmox, or any kind of platforms that you're selling on, and you want to send me the link on Sunday? I will add it all in community news. And if you have any specials going on in your stores. <coughs> Sorry. No. Cassie, you have a, you have, I. No, I don't have. I do have an eBay. Cassie, you, but... um, you have. Um, we're, we're, I 
I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's the 80s, though, man. Kathy has a channel. She does, Wes. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you should go subscribe. Yes, Wes, I have a channel. <laughs> Wow, was that it about the eighties? There was nothing else about the eighties. Oh my god, so much more. Oh, uh, more than most people know about the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys go to nightclubs in the eighties? Oh yeah. I started going to the club at fifteen. My sis, my sister would pay the the front door guy twenty bucks to to let us park and let me in without carding me. Mm. Was that in California? Yeah. I did not. Mm -hmm. I was cheap. There was a club in Mississippi though, but it was a um and it was for underage people. We used to go hang out there, but it you know, there was no alcohol or I used to call them juice bars. There was nothing fun in there. Yeah, I never went to the underage clubs. They're boring. How did it go to the doctor, Ron Dea? Dude, I mixed my apple juice They changed the drinking juice. age. Well, I was, I think I was a, uh, no. I was a freshman in high school, I think. 47? They changed the drinking age to 21, and all the seniors went out, and they were on the front cover of the newspaper going out and have their last beer. <clears throat> at 18. Yeah, I was 18, 21, and, and I had my 21st birthday party there, and they went, wait a minute, you've been working here for three years, and you're just now turning 21? I worked under the table because I agreed that they didn't have to pay me or put me on payroll. I just worked for tips. Right. And I made plenty of money on tips. I only worked the weekends. And yeah, they found out I was 21 three years later. Oh, my God. <laughs> The first no. time I ever went to a nightclub, I was 25 years old. Wow. Yep. I think I was 19. I was married. <laughs> that was in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, that's where everybody's house is in that club too, right? That feels a party town. It is a party town. <laughs> I was married at 18. <laughs> I was married at 18 and I had my son when I was 19. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I got married when I was 19 the first time. <clears throat> Big mistake. <laughs> That's the way it was. My mother said it and it had to happen. But I did get a lot of clubs in San Diego when I was 24 and 25 when I met my second husband online and I moved down to San Diego. So we used to go clubbing. <laughs> we were high on meth then. Oh. Yeah. That sounds lovely. Yeah, it was great. We smoked it out of a pipe and it was great. Meth. <clears throat> no, it was a terrible time. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Kids, I gotta go. Why? No. Holy crap. You're not allowed to leave. Kevin? But you go fight with her. I'm not. Rhonda is coming back in. She just got out of the doctor, so she's coming back. Yeah. So you can't go anywhere. Like I said, you go fight ah. with her. I'm not. <laughs> there she is. You don't have to fight with Lori. What? I think I'm leaking a little bit of gas. Uh oh. I smell it. <laughs> Just a little. Oh, crap. I'm finally out. Took forever. Don't smoke. <laughs> I can't hear you guys. Well, put your finger in it and sniff it. <laughs> oh, wow. That did, that did not come out right. I know, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Or maybe it did. I that forgot where bad. I'm at. Did I miss anything fun? 
No. Yes, yeah, Susanna was beating her dog. <laughs> huh? Into submission. <laughs> My God, the volume is horrible. Susanna, I want you to go for me. I I'm going to come back. I, I got to go check on somebody who decided that she's cutting the fucking lawn. Oh. You come back. Stubborn. 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 Sniff it. Stubborn beyond belief. So I'll just go by the wayside for a moment. Okay, Women stubborn. are very stubborn. Yes, we are. <laughs> no, this one. Hmm. Stubborn. Hey, did you okay. guys know that Robin is my editor? <laughs> oh, boy. It was on CNN last night. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. And Fox. They have the only thing they agreed upon. I know, right? <laughs> I was trying to claim Robin. No, I, I, no, I told, I told him not to run it on Fox. Well, I don't apparently she's the editor to about three hundred people. No, she's Maya. <laughs> she's Maya. Now I know you're from Massachusetts. Maya, yeah, exactly. Maya. Or she, Lori or she an Aztec? She an Iroquois or an Aztec? <laughs> Mayan. Mayan. Mayan ruins. Mayan. That'd be like like a good, Mayan, like Mayan, movie star. Mayan, Mayan. My name is Mayan ruins. Mine, 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 mine. Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just I have to go check him. Swimming. Just keep swimming. Yes, that sound you heard was. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda, I have the coolest picture of you for you to use as your avatar. Nice. You're gonna love it. Your hair is even purple in it. I need another Ooh. gummy. <laughs> Rhonda, you Going haven't seen the pitches, have you? The what? The pitches that she, she did. Seen the intro. What the heck? Wait, Susanna saw your intro and I haven't. You weren't there last night. I'm done. You disappeared. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna flip. F you, buddy. Aw, you were supposed to be there. She wasn't feeling well. She was very, very tired. Yes, I do claim Rhonda and I do claim Kathy. Yeah, she yes, claims I do. everybody. <laughs> I claim everybody. Everybody is mine. All right, I Wes, I even claim you. your ass too. I'll be back. I do. Wes hasn't seen it either. Are you going to play it or are you going to show the pictures? Not during the live. Wait, how did Wes not see it? He was supposed to take over for me last night. Because I didn't show it during the live. I showed it in the green room. Oh, afterwards. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I got to hold on to it. It's like finding the best Christmas gift for somebody and you have to hold on to it. <laughs> I got to wait 10 days to play it live. Can you show at least one picture? I can show a picture of Rhonda. Yeah. Hold on. Let me put you big. Not me. I don't want me. Hold on. <gasps> Why am I doing this? Nice. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, start the car. <clears throat> JJ's here. Good morning, JJ. Oh, Wes wants to see his too. Wes plays several characters. He's the devil here. That's Wes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, this is also Wes. Hold on. And <laughs> this is also Freddy. Creepy. Yeah. The things nightmares are made from. I can't wait for you to see it, Rhonda.
And this good looker is Kim. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Devin as Reagan from Exorcist. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Kathy, I thought about putting you in here, but I just left it to like the, the four people that are hosting and then the mods. Oh, that's fine. I, but I did think about putting you in here. Aww. I thought it would be funny. Thank you. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my punk days. <clears throat> yeah. Is that for the family reseller thing? No, this is for the uh, oh. Halloween party. Gotcha. It's like a I made a little short scary movie for the beginning. You can take mouth extreme now. <laughs> I had to no, take it's okay. Saturday <laughs> so that I can be awake. You have to what? Take a nap. Oh yeah. So that Dude, I'll be do that. Because yeah. I have five people. Yeah, five people showing plus star doing tarot readings. So right. I was thinking about starting it an hour early just to be able to get everybody in. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. like it's, away too. it's like 10 days. Yeah, it's 10 days. It's a yeah. long time. Oh. See, I couldn't have an evil character because I'm not evil. Yeah, I couldn't make you into evil. I couldn't do it. I'm probably chasing butterflies <laughs> in the meadow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look how beautiful Pretty. that is. You can see yeah. my ride home. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Yeah, we haven't even started changing the colors here in Pennsylvania yet. Everything's still oh, good. Wes, I actually put it in a, I created a file for everybody that, that I make videos for. I think I emailed you. If not, I'll, I'll add you. But it, it's all on a um, Google Drive or that you guys have access to. That they can go get them at any time you want. Hold on. It's so pretty. Look at it. The sky is so beautiful. That's what my sky looks like. Nice. Rhonda, is, I mean, uh, Rhonda, is it cold? It's She's cool. on mute. It's cool. She's in upstate New York, so it's probably like maybe five degrees cooler than it is here. Yeah. <clears throat> but I can't look at that. Otherwise, I'd drop out. It's like 60 here right now. Maybe. Carolyn saying that no color change in the desert. Brown and more brown. 365 year, uh, days a year. Uh, that's what I love about this area. We get four seasons. Mm-hmm. Me too. Hey, Frenchie. Hey, Frenchie. Frenchie got uh, refaced, too. It's two of those. How'd you do my whole mood? You ready? Love this. <laughs> Frenchie doesn't need to be refaced. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Just saying. Robin fell out. 
Uh oh. She was breaking up, so I wondered. Yeah. Nope. She's trying. There she is. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, that's welcome back, Kata. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh whoa. Horshack. Remember Horshack? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Horshack. Yep. Horshack. And who else? Um, oh. Mr. Kata. Mr. Kata. Mr. Kata. <laughs> You had uh, Vinny. Vinny. Right? Vinny. Oh. Wait, the was other... it Barbarino? Vinny Barbarino. <laughs> no. <laughs> Vinny Barbarino. <laughs> what was the other two guys? The, 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 the black guy. Uh, Epstein. Yeah, Epstein, Epstein. Was, Epstein was the Italian dude. The short Italian dude. <laughs> he was Italian? And then, he was Italian? I think he was Italian. I think he was. Oh, maybe he was Jewish. I don't know. <laughs> he was Jewish. <laughs> I don't know what I'm they had somebody from every race kind of thing going. Stopping for gas. There isn't really anything fun here to see. What is that? Um, that uh, that show, and I'm moving on up to the top. The Jeffersons. The Jeffersons. The, yes. Yeah. We. I named my first dog after that, or I'm sorry, my second dog. We. <laughs> Her Wheezy was my dog's name. <laughs> she was a black Labrador. <laughs> I loved. I loved that show. And when we got that dog, I was like, oh, my God, we got to name her Louise. And we called her Wheezy. Wheezy. <laughs> but that was a spinoff off of um, All in the Family, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, they couldn't play those shows today. They'd be too controversial. controversial. Oh, my God. Yes. Yep. Especially uh, okay. on the West. Now you have access to that drive. What are you talking about, and Willis? Different strokes. Yeah. <laughs> meathead. Oh my God, Meathead. <laughs> I'll always remember the argument they got into about socks and shoes. Like, do you put both socks on first, or do you put one sock and one shoe and one sock and one shoe? Well, don't you put two socks on first and then your shoes? That's what I do. I think yeah. his logic was he put one sock and one shoe on. That way, if there was a fire, he could at least hop out. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Meathead? Meathead, yeah. Him and yeah. Archie got an argument as to whether you put on both socks or just one sock and a shoe. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wes says socks, then shoes. Yeah. I do socks and shoes, but I think about that argument often. Hey. And then when you get older and you don't know what's going on, you put your shoes on and then your socks over them. <laughs> Maybe you do. Or you put your bra outside your shirt. Your bra. <laughs> Who did that? There was someone that did that. Oh... Design. Oh, it was on Designing Women. Do you remember Designing Women? Oh, I remember that show. <laughs> and the little old lady that was on there, like, she was losing her mind, poor thing. And she came into the house one time. She had a shirt and she had her bra, her bra over the oh, shirt. That was, <laughs> that was so funny. I remember Annie Potts was in that. She was a girl from uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> What was your favorite? Do you have a favorite sitcom show? Oh, God. No, there's too many. Way too many. What, you mean from the 80s? Yeah. From the 80s, there's way too many. Sorry. Uh, yeah, way too many. I did like Three's Company a lot. 
I was going to say, Three's Company is like, that was my main thing back in the late yeah. 70s, early 80s. Yeah. I couldn't wait for it to come on. I had a little red TV that my grandpa gave me mm -hmm. in my bedroom. <laughs> it was a little <laughs> tiny, teeny tiny thing, but I loved watching it. <clears throat> BJ and the Bear. Oh, yeah. I remember that. JJ saying BJ and the Bear and Fall Guy. I don't remember Fall Guy. Knight Rider. You don't remember Fall Guy? No. Wow. No, I don't remember. Seventy is all about happy days in Laverne and Shirley. Yes. That's all I cared about. And well, Bionic Woman and yeah. What about Charlie's Angels? Was that the eighties or the seventies? Late seventies. Yep. Late seventies. I remember it was like on Saturday night, it would be my father would want to watch Lawrence Lawrence Woke. And then my mother would want to watch, my mother called it back then, the husband and the wife show, which is the Honeymooners. Share. No, share. Um, share. Yeah. Oh, I watched the, Donnie, Donnie and Marie. Marie. Yeah. Donnie yeah. Marie. Yes. I, Donnie I can Marie. even tell you, this is, this is how much of a fan I was. It was on Friday nights, channel seven at yes. eight o'clock. <laughs> you know what? My mom wouldn't let me watch it unless I cleaned out my closet. Yeah. So I clean my closet out. <laughs> I go back and look at it now, and I'm like, oh my god, cringy, know, right? So cringy. <laughs> I'm so in love with Donny Osmond. Oh my god, he's purple. Oh my god. I like Marie. She was my first crush. <laughs> <laughs> I was five years old, and she was 15, and I just was like, oh. I just, oh my god. <laughs> Donny and Marie. She was pretty. She is pretty. Yeah. She's still pretty. Yeah, she is. Their teeth. Oh, my God. That family and their teeth. I know, right? <laughs> Miami Vice. Yep. Yep. How many of you watch Dallas? I watched it because my parents watched it. Yeah, my mom watched it. What about Dynasty? Same. Yeah, they watched that. <laughs> You know which one I could never get into is Knott's Landing. Yeah. No. I'm not really a nighttime soap opera fan. Yeah. Me either. <clears throat> Hotel. That was another one. Oh, Fantasy Island. The Fantasy plane, Island. boss. The plane. Boss, the plane. <laughs> <laughs> that Fantasy Island would come on after Love Boat. Yeah. Oh, the I love Love Boat. Boat. See, I had a crush on Julie. <laughs> 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 yeah, and for Dynasty. I had a on Gopher. <laughs> gopher. Or Gophy. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Did any of you watch the Cosbys? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I think 90s, they had nothing that I can remember. No, Devin's about the 90s. I bet she can rattle off some stuff. Yeah, I don't remember much past the 80s. Yeah, me neither. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't wonder why. I know, right? <laughs> Falcon Crest, oh my God. Oh my God, Falcon Crest. Yeah, I totally forgot about that one. Was it Dynasty where the two girls got in a fight? Joan Crawford yeah. and Linda Evans. Yeah. They got into many fights. Well, I mean, like down the stairs pulling hair. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Like, yeah. They redid Dyn or Dallas and it wasn't too bad, actually. Um, I'm not a fan of remakes. No, me Beyond. either. I'm not a fan of them. I think once like, you do a movie, you should just leave it alone. <laughs> remember how um, Happy Days, right? And then there was a spinoff with Chachi and... Joni Chachi loves Chachi. Loves, Joni loves Chachi. Yeah. yeah. See, my mom thought I was like this wonder kid because when Happy Days would come on when I was like four or five, 
I would like say everybody's name, but I was like, mama, it's on the screen. <laughs> Tom Bosley. I remember they came on. I eight want to is say, enough. Eight is eight enough. enough. My bedtime was 7.30 and they came on at 7. So I got to watch Happy Days, but I never got to watch Laverne and Shirley. So I would sneak. My parents watched it. So I would sneak and crawl behind the couch just so I could see, watch it. And they didn't know I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What was the name of the two guys that lived Bunny upstairs? and Squiggy. Bunny and Squiggy. <laughs> yep. And wasn't it uh, Shirley's boyfriend? What was his name? Carmine? Carmine. Carmine. The yeah. big ragu. <laughs> Carmine Ragusa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I remember this shit? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I brought y'all inside with me. I was just gone that whole time because the store owner was telling me about his gummies and how high he got. Oh, <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> but he talked me into buying from him. Nice. So he made a sale in the process. Oh, wow. A jar of them? Mm hmm. Delta and THC infused. Yes. That's all we have around here. If I want just Indica or just Sativa, I have to drive to Mass. They only do infused Delta 8 or Delta 9 here. But this was only $15 for a 10 count of 20, 250 milligrams. $15? Yep. Wow. Yep. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> wow. He says they're not they're not whack. He says, you're, all, you're definitely going to get high. Just don't take more than one. Find a little one? Don't you, you take more than one, one you'll be very high. You will be floating. <laughs> you would be broken. You would not see anything tomorrow. Tomorrow you cannot do anything on the computer. <laughs> and by the way, what is your bank account number so I can make this possible every week for you? <laughs> he just took over our uh, little convenient store. He's actually really cool, dude. So, I just love his accent. I have Hawaii a Five O, Kojak. Yeah, I never really liked that. No, emergency. Fish, remember fish? That was the seventies, I think. Yeah, fish was the seventies. Yes, think Lost in Space, nineteen sixty-five. Did you guys watch Star Trek? No. No. Not until I was married to my first husband. My dad did, and I, I would sit through a few minutes of it, but I never really cared for it. Do you guys remember Benny Hill? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Benny Hill in Love American Style. Do you remember yes, that one? Love American Style. Yep. With a big my mom loved that show. <laughs> yep. It was a little racy for the kids, but it was... Yeah. Yes. Wow, that, we're going back. Whoa. Yeah. <gasps> little House on the Prairie was my favorite. Oh, God. Oh, my God. My mom and I used to watch that. I loved it. I love Little House she on the Prairie. my room and get her... She had a, a jar of sunflower seeds. And <laughs> she would eat the sunflower seeds while we watched it together because my dad hated it and he wanted to put whatever he wanted on the big TV. So she would come in my room and watch it. That was one of my favorite times because I got to spend time with my mom. <laughs> yeah. Quincy. Mm. I was never a Quincy fan. Mm -mm. Quincy, uh, Quincy MD. No, Wes, I don't have 15 ex-husbands. I had two. Mighty Mouse. Long Ranger were my favorite cartoons besides Looney Cartoons. Yep. Mighty Mouse, I'm here to save my the day. Was Tom and Jerry. Yeah, Mine was Casper. I loved Casper. Yeah, I liked Casper, yeah, I liked Casper too. Love Felix the Cat. Felix the Cat. The wonderful, wonderful cat. <laughs> All right, I'm home. I'll be back. Twilight Zone. 
Yeah, yeah, I like that. 50, 1959 to 1965, Twilight Zone. Hmm. What was the, was it ER? Was that in the 90s, ER or 80s? I think 90s. 90s? 90s. Yeah, I don't think it was out when I was in high school. I graduated in 90, so I don't remember watching it before then. I was never an ER person. I'm definitely a Grey's Anatomy. I watched both, but I only watched them for like the first two years, and then I was like done with it because it just got boring. Oh, you love Grey's? Yeah, I can't get into it anymore. <laughs> What's Square Pegs? That was uh Yeah, I remember that. Two girls in high school. They were kind of nerdy. What was Sarah Je what Sarah Park what is her name? Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah My Parker. two dads. My two dads was funny. Yeah. My three sons. That's really old. That's really old. My it's mom watched that a, yeah. when she was. It's, you can't say my three sons and not say you, Leave It to Beaver. <laughs> do you, I used to love watching Bridget or Gidget, Gidget movies. Listen, like Betty's with Tom Hanks. The Flying Nun. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm here for the 80s show. <laughs> <laughs> I think we skipped down. We went further we, we into went to the, the 70s and 60s. <laughs> oh, okay. For us old farts out there. Yeah. So what's the topic? Hello? Hello? Uncle TV Fred? shows from the 60s and 70s? Dragnet. Dragnet? Is it you I'm looking for? <laughs> I can <Hello>? see surprise. <laughs> but she can't see you back. <laughs> he was dancing on the ceiling, too. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Golden oh. Girls was great. And oh, what a oh my guys. God, yes. Okay, that ain't the sixties. What a seventies? No, or the eighties. Was the eighties talking favorite TV shows of all time? Favorite TV shows of all time? Yeah. Taxi. Taxi was awesome. I couldn't stand the way he flipped his hair all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Elton John. No, Jeff Conway. Jeff Conway, who's now dead. His hair. I was like, oh my God, dude. The um, Golden Girls. The oldest lady was not the oldest lady. Fun fact. I didn't like Cheers. If you could have been on any sitcom as an actor, which one would you pick? Hmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. Any, any, any time, any show. It doesn't matter. What Facts of doing. Life. Facts of Life. That's a good choice. You want to be an abandoned child living in a home? She just wants to live with a bunch of girls. What's wrong with that? Yeah. yeah. Joe was there. What's wrong with <laughs> Joe was there? <laughs> right. I, I think Joe covered it for everybody because dudes loved her too. Yeah. She could, she, could, she was a she was a motorcycle mechanic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She yeah. knew how to she she knew how to twinkle those pipes. Yeah. <laughs> twinkle those pipes. Twinkle those pipes. <laughs> I thought maybe you'd go with like you know. I don't think Joe was much into pipes. No. <laughs> I think she was more into the carburetor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, whatever the case. She was very good with her hands and her fingers, so whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> this week's episode is called Susanna Comes Out of Her Shell. <laughs> well, I would have to say Silver Spoons because I was in love with Ruthie Schroeder. Silver Spoons? Oh, yeah. my God. Silver Spoons. I was in love sitcom. with Ruthie Schroeder. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I would always want to be on a New York sitcom. Mm, I'd have to go with Taxi. Taxi, oh my god. <laughs> I was. Oh, that show was, it was like, the 90s. Well, it was the 80s. I'm sorry, like Peter but... Griffin said, it assisted upon itself. 
right? I mean, hey, Gabonza beans aren't Gabonza. We're beans. Discuss. Wes says either Miami Vice or Airwolf. I've never okay. heard of Airwolf. Neither one being a sitcom, but okay, Wes. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Bobby said Seinfeld. But particularly 89 Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what the original name of Seinfeld was supposed to be? I'll let you people Google it. Hmm. Probably Jerry, right? There were two working names. Um, it was actually was going to be called the show about nothing. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. I remember that. Then they used it as an episode, and there was another name. I was, what about oh, I, Mash? Did you guys like Mash? Oh, I loved not, Mash. Not till I got older. Yeah, right. Exactly. Once once we got older, and we watched the reruns. Okay. Do you know the name of the opening song? Of Mash. Of Mash. Yep. No, I don't know. No, I don't know it. But it I actually has words it. to it. But they only use the head. audio. The name, the name of the song for the opening of MASH is called, it's called Suicide is Painless. Wow. Yes, oh. I have an absolute abundance of useless information. That is useless information. You guys remember? Goma Pile? Yeah. Well, golly, surprise. Oh, surprise. Oh, golly. Gomer Pile. You know what he what was that a spin off from? Um, uh, Ron Howard, uh, uh, what's it called? It wasn't called, uh, uh <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Oh my god, Andy Griffith Show, yes, yeah, mama, that's correct. Woohoo, I got one right. Woo -woo. I might go with happy day second. I loved happy days, <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say happy days, yeah. Really. What was so cool about him? He wasn't even handsome. It's all about confidence. That's right. Potsy. Potsy. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, Ralph the Mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. I just wanted more episodes with Chuck in it. I think Who he has Chuck? three. That was Ron Howard's brother. Big Al. <laughs> yeah. He was in college. He was. He was in college. Chuck. What about Pinky Tuscadero? Hey, now. Susie oh, yeah. Quattro Pinky Tuscadero. Uh, Pinky Tuscadero. <laughs> Susie, wasn't it Susie Quattro who played her sister? <laughs> Robin. <laughs> but that's almost as good as Ross biting his wrist. I and think these shows are way too young for Rondo. Rondo Tuscadero and then her sister, Leather Tuscadero. Mm. I think Leather was Susie Quattro. It was. God, she was about 15. Yeah. Oh, God. She had great feathered hair, though. I know. I was like, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, so was I. <laughs> <laughs> who's this? Remember Spike for about two minutes? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they just started right now. We gotta try to happy it. days. Who owned the restaurant first? Was it Big Al or was it the other guy? Arnold. Big Al. It was Big Al. It was Big Al. And then the, the Chinese Arnold guy came in later. Yeah. Pat, Pat Marino. Oh, it was he was later. He was the yeah. karate kid guy. Yeah. To Arnold. Pat Marino. What what Kevin just said? Pat Marita. Marita, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Suicide is painless. You got happy days trivia there, Susanna? Oh. No, oh, I mean I can look it up, but yeah, look yeah. it up. Yeah, look it up. Let's see. Sunday Monday. I give the credit for coming up with that song because I really thought that song was originally from the fifties and it wasn't. It was written specifically for that show, but it sounded so good. Look. Sunday, Monday, happy, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday, Saturday. No. Saturday. <laughs> no, it's called Talking the week is done. We'll have some fun. <laughs> sorry, I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Cassie, I have a trivia question for you. What city uh -oh. did it take place in? Milwaukee. Milwaukee, what? Wisconsin. Just making sure you knew where it was. I do. 
Dude, and what else is Milwaukee? Is Laverne and Shirley to... is Wisconsin. Yeah. Someone needs to test me and Susanna on Grey's Anatomy trivia one day yeah. because I want to whoop her ass. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> no way. I could, I could only tell you how to spell Grey because I'd never watch that show. No. Oh, I think I'd only see a couple of them. I would come in to listen to her whoop Susanna's ass, though. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> First question How do you spell Grey? <laughs> G R A Y, you lose. That's right. No, G R E Y. That's mm -hmm. correct. That's all I know. That and uh, the biggest nerd of the 80s played the hottest guy in Grey's Anatomy. Go figure. But he was in a great movie. You can't buy me love. And the Princess nerd. Diary Wait. or the Princess Bride. Oh my God. It's so Listen. Okay. I don't um, get that movie. It's hard. I don't it's either, horrible. but according to the people, Friday, it's the greatest movie ever. It's horrible. Lori loves that movie. Yeah, I don't like it either. Loves it. On um, which network did Happy Days originally air in the United States? ABC. Yes. ABC, CBS, or NBC? ABC. 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 CBS. Yep. Yep, In what two decades uh, does Happy Days take place? 50s and 60s. Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, what? Wait, what? What was the answer? She's got another one. Of you those. guys got it. ABC. Okay, but we said three different things. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right? laughs> Somebody said CBS, and we said yeah. So she had I, thought was, I thought it was PBS. <laughs> no, it's ABC. I'm going with PBS. I'm sorry. What's the right no. answer? ABC is the correct answer. Yes. Awesome. Next. In what two decades does Happy Days take place? 50s and 60s. 50s and 60s. 50s and 60s, yeah. No. Well, even the dog is saying 50s and 60s. You guys are right. What is Chachi's mother called? A hoe. Wrong. Chachi's mother. Oh, I know it was played by Lily Tomlin's sister. Fuck. I have no idea. I don't know. I know his last name, but I don't know what his mother's name was. You guys give up? Yeah. Louisa. And, wow, I would not have ever gotten that. Mm -mm. What was the name of the high school that Richie, Potsy, and Ralph attended? Um, I know this. Does it start with an R? Nope. I was thinking the same thing. Look at that college sweaters. Jefferson High? Yes, Jefferson yeah, High. That's it. That's it. Yes, Jeff. The minute you said sweater, I went, oh. <laughs> you go, Kevin. <laughs> Do you guys know what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. What happened in the very first episode of Happy oh. Days? Shit. Uh, well, I know that Fonzie didn't wear a leather jacket. He had like a pastel colored cotton jacket. Yeah, he had like a he had like a 1950s version of a members only on. <laughs> yeah, I think they called it an Edison or something like that. It wasn't so cool. What happened? He moved in upstairs. Um, he moved in. Yeah. No. Nope. No. Nope. Oh. Well, what happened? Richie Richie dated a girl with a reputation. <gasps> oh my god! No. Really? No. <laughs> I oh, wait a minute. And was it Linda Pearl? It doesn't say the name. No, Linda Pearl was a sweet she girl. Was, she was hot. Beautiful. Oh, so <laughs> what kind of store did Mr. Cunningham have? A hardware store. You guys got it. Hardware store. He owned the neighborhood hardware store. That's right. Yeah. Who played Danny, the boy that Fonzie adopted in the final episode of Happy Days, in which late 1980s show did he play a twin brother named Willie? Oh, God. I know this. And I can't think of his fucking name. name. Right? I can see his face. I just don't remember his oh, name. Right? I'm not going to drag this out. I give up. Yeah, tell us. Robin, you give up? Yeah. 
Danny Pounce. Danny Pounce, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is wax. And it was the Hogan family. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and who else was on the Hogan family? Wasn't that Jason Bateman, too? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Valerie Hopper and later Sandy Duncan. Yep. <laughs> Sandy Duncan. Oof. I never understood that. <laughs> Wheat thin, lady. <laughs> I remember when Sandy Duncan was Peter Pan. Right, and she did the Wheat Thins commercials. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sandy Duncan. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> she had a glass eye. What? Yeah, Sandy Duncan had a glass eye. Really? I guess I remember that. Wow. Talk about who that. Who was thing. who was Fonzie's idol? Um, Jim, Jim, James Dean. Jimmy Dean, James Dean. Yeah. Kevin. Uh, I don't. I don't think he liked Jimmy or Dean. Marlon Brando. It's either James Dean or Marlon. I think it's James Dean. I think I'm going think with. Dean. I'm going with James Dean as opposed to Jimmy Dean, the sausage maker. I'm yeah, sorry, right? Jimmy Dean came out. <laughs> well, you like sausage? That makes the sense. Mine is on sausage. <laughs> right? <laughs> you hear that, Wes? Do you prefer the breakfast sausage or the evening sausage? She likes the big fat bowl of sausage. <laughs> oh, twenty four hour sausage. You like the kielbasa then? I like the kielbasa. <laughs> kielbasa. Now, do you guys want to know the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Long the Long Ranger. Oh God. The Long Ranger. I don't, <laughs> Not I don't the Long Ranger. That at all. The Long Ranger. <laughs> I mean, no, he had a poster of him in his room. I remember that. It's her landscape of the Long Ranger. So <laughs> I didn't I would never have gotten that. I would no, I remember the poster now. Yeah. But I <laughs> I really did think it was Jim, James Dean. The Long Ranger and Tonto too. Yeah. Why is Warren Weber nicknamed Potsy? Oh, I don't remember. I don't know. He smoked a lot of pot. <laughs> His mom smoked a lot of pot. See? <laughs> don't know. Don't know. He liked to make things with clay, and one day his mother called him Potsy. <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? I knew that something was wrong. <laughs> Do you know Potsy's real name on the show? No. What, his real name in real life? Yeah, no, no, on the show. Oh. Potsy. Why am I thinking Warren? Warren Ooh. Weber is what you said. Exactly. You just told her. <laughs> oh, did she? I didn't hear her. <laughs> I promise. I thought maybe that I was. Just the remember I just remember Mrs. C <laughs> called him Warren. <laughs> If my name was Warren, I'd want to be called Potsy, too. Exactly. Okay. Warren is like Fred. <laughs> fill in the, you guys, fill in the blank from this line of Happy Days theme song. Blank, what a day, grooving all week with you. Saturday. These days are Saturday. Saturday. Did you say blank in the beginning? Yep. Blank. That day, grooving all week with you. No, you had it right. It Saturday, is Saturday. Saturday. That throwed uh, off rather badly, Kathy. <laughs> Shut up. That started good, and then you were like, yay. <laughs> what is the name of Richie and Joni's older brother who disappeared after the first two seasons? Chuck. Chuck, yeah. Chuck. Chucky. Charles, Chuck. Charles. Who are the geek? Who are the geeky? Belvin Brothers? Oh, Lenny, she jumped Lenny, out of her Lenny. thing. <laughs> well, she is a dog. What? And they jump. <laughs> All right. What college did Richie, Ralph, and Potsy attend? Ryder. That, hey, you know what? Ryder University? No, no. you know what's funny? Because Robin thinks the same thing I did. I don't think they went to Jefferson. I think they went to Ryder. Nope. Jefferson High was fast times. Even I mean, though I got the answer right, but, but I just seem to remember like college, something Ryder. They've used Jefferson High in a couple of things. Yeah, but just remember who went to Ryder? R Y D E R. That's going to yeah, come. I remember up. that too. I don't remember what. what um, where'd they go to college? Mm hmm. Um, Wisconsin, Stevens University Point. Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. 
I don't even remember when I went to college. <laughs> what was Richie's favorite song? Oh, Bebop, Baloo, Bob, she's my baby. Oh no, I know what it is. What no, is it? it was by the Platters, wasn't it? Oh my god. I have no flickman. Oh my god, I know. He would sing it all the time. He would sing it all the time in the diner. Oh mm -hmm. shit. Oh, he did. You're right. Oh my god. I give up. What? What's the answer? I found my thrill yep. yep. on Blueberry oh. Hill. That's, yep. What were the names of Fonzie's parents? No clue. Beatrice? No. No. It's something Mr. like that. Mr. and Mrs. Fonzie. <laughs> no. <laughs> no idea. Louise or Beatrice? I have no idea. It's some old fashioned name like that. What is it? Mr. and Mrs. Fonzarelli. Nope. Well, Vito yes, and Angela. Oh, Angela. Vito. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Fonzarelli. Vito Fonzarelli. That's right. I'm sticking to my story. <laughs> what did Joni and Chachi have to do on their first date? Not saying. Is this age restricted? Nope. <laughs> Chachi had made belief that he was actually attracted to her. I don't know. Well, that girl was messed up in real life. Mm. Yeah. She claims she got about that as, set molested her. She got as, about as messed up as the as Lauren Twos from the Love Boat did. You know, she went to her grave without saying who it was. Who do you think molested her? If anybody. Ooh, oh, did they man. say on that show? Tom Bosley. You think it was Tom? Tom Bosley. Yeah. What if it what if it was You mean the dude from Charlie's Angels? No way. Or else it would have come out there too. He wasn't in Charlie's Angels. Tell Who was the guy with the black hair? The old man? The dad? Not Charlie. Charlie was uh, the guy who did Dynasty. Who was the who's the man? What are the shows that Bosley do? Wasn't that Eight is Enough? No. No, that was Van Dyke or Van Patton. Dick Van Patton. Yeah, Dick Van Patton. So they said somebody on the she said somebody on the show molested her? Yeah, she's she's claiming that somebody from that cast molested her. I think it was Tom Bosley. No way. Yeah. No way. No way, Ron Howard. So, I'm plus, going, I'm, not I'm Ron Howard, no. No. Bosley. Well, you know what? You know what's funny? There's been, there was there's somebody on that cast that was accused of molesting from another show he was on. That's Scott Bale. Yep. Uh, He's been accused on three different TV shows. But they were too close in age to technically be calling it molesting, though. But... Not for nothing. I got a problem was with that. Was that asshole around back then? It's probably him. Okay. Weinstein, Weinstein, whatever the hell his name was. Oh. Pardon. What was the name? What was the name of the officer that wanted to run Fonz out of town? <laughs> wow, these are very oblique questions. I know. Yes, they are. Fuck, I don't remember that. <laughs> I remember the show, but I don't remember that name. I'm Officer not going to guess. Tell us. Officer Cook, uh, Kirk. Kirk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. No. What was Fonzie's middle name? Arthur. Nope. That was his first name. Arthur was his first name. Middle. Middle. Oh, I thought middle. he was the real name. Oh. I can't hear over the tape. Arthur Lee Fonzarelli? Nope. I don't remember his middle name. Arthur Vito Fonzarelli? Nope. Damn. Francis. Nope. Oh. It was something yeah, girly. That would be a good one. It would be a girly I one. I see. If I had a bet money, I would have went with that too. Yeah. It's something girly though. Like Leslie or the fuck is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Herbert. What? Herbert? Herbert. Herbert? I never heard that. Yeah. 
I don't remember that. Maybe, maybe we all didn't pay attention as much as we thought we did. I know, right? <laughs> what does the sign say by Fonzie's stairs outside? Oh, oh this way. Up. Oh. I can't remember. I can see the stairway though. Yeah, there's a drawing of a of stairs, but I don't remember what the words say. They say like, um, "Welcome to the Love Shack." No. <laughs> <laughs> love Shack, baby. The Fonz, in red letters. The Fonz. Ah. <laughs> These are hard questions. They are. They like, are? I thought I knew everything there was to know about. They're them. very, they're, they're very, they're very obscure. What year were the school buses? Fonzie jumped what over. What was Marion's major in college? What? Oh. What was that? What was Marion's major in college? Was it um? Marion. The mom. Yeah, Marion's. Marion Ross. She was going to be a nurse. Um. Nope. No. She was quite ditzy. Yeah. <laughs> She had the hearts of Fonzie. I know something like did. That. Arthur. <laughs> yes, she did. Archaeology. <laughs> oh, uh, really? What the fuck? I think they're just making up questions. And Where making are you up getting these lists from? <laughs> Michael Jackson, Ebony, and Ivory. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this one. Who okay. does Richie Cunningham marry? The girl with the black hair. What was her name? Peggy Sue. <laughs> Kathy Sue, Katie Sue. Mama. Sue your, sue your ass. Mama. Sue. What was her name? Was her name Carol Ann? Nope. Oh, it's Carol Ann. Carol Ann. What is a fucking It name? was one of those 50s names, though. It was. Like Peggy Sue or some shit like that. Lori Beth. Lori Beth. Lori yes. Beth. Ah, yes. That's it. Lori Beth. Woohoo! Go Robin. <laughs> hey. What was the first spinoff from Happy Days? Laverne and Shirley. Yep. <laughs> what instrument? What instrument does Richie play in the band? Saxophone. Saxophone. Mm hmm. Who did the Fonz have a picture of in his wallet? Oh. Lone Ranger? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Who played Leather Tuscadero on Happy Days? Susie Quattro. Quattro. There you go. I didn't know it, but <laughs> I knew Kevin. What was the Cunningham's address? Me and Robin liked her music. Yeah, her music. <laughs> what was the Cunningham's address? <laughs> Oh, that's a that, now that's a good question. That's a good one. Being that you only saw the back door, I vaguely remember. No, no clue. I got no shot. I, I don't remember. I have no idea. None. I gotta I check the dog. Okay, just leave us hanging. Just leave us hanging. <laughs> All right, take off your shorts. I'll be back in two hours. All right, thanks. <laughs> just don't sit on the couch. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> like the, really dog, the dog took off 12 minutes ago. Now she's going to get the dog. That sounds like a fresh memory for you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to answer the question on the grounds that might incriminate me. <laughs> and I plan on repeating that 51 times for the next 51 comments and questions. Help me. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Somebody help me. Makes me think of the fly. Help me. Help me. Oh, Susanna, she must have had to pee. <laughs> Everybody, how did it go with the doctor, Rhonda? I don't think Rhonda's Just here. A stupid follow up so I can keep getting my medication. Okay. Gotcha. You got to, you got to. 
join us. Rhonda sounds very angry. I know, right? Get it out. I don't like when Rhonda don't sound like Rhonda. These happy days questions. Jeez, criminy. I mean, Someone who the hell? How the hell? Do you remember their address? Yeah. You really should know the address of all of them. No. And I don't. <laughs> I mean, once you get to 2727 Mockingbird Lane, I don't remember any of them. Ah, the Munsters. <laughs> it always seemed that the only days I would ever watch the Munsters when it was raining outside. I love the Munsters. Me too. Like two years, but then there was like reruns. I like the Adams Family too, though. The Adams Family. That fucked up daughter. Yeah, but they, they had a, a beautiful love story. <laughs> <laughs> God, I mean, yeah. <laughs> At twelve fifty-two, Wes said, "Kathy's into sausage." I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David Doyle, so you, yeah, that's right. Angels, we have a crime. Do, 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 do. Did you guys come up with the answer for the address? No, we didn't. No, even no we're waiting for you to tell us. One seventy nine Ridge Street. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would have remembered that. No. No. <laughs> uh, who's taping? Devin. <laughs> selling on Poshmark like crazy. Good, 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 good. What good, was the good. name? What was the name of Richie, Ralph, and Potsy's band? Oh my God, I should know this. I'm really mad at myself. Oh. For this right now. I got a better shot at Baba Black Sheep trivia right now, and I never watched the show. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I don't remember. What's the name of the band? The, 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 the first, uh, Oh, it was the first. all the time. <laughs> the Ballsack Johnsons. <laughs> the Ballsack Johnsons. <laughs> no? I'm just throwing it out there. They I never had a name a because they, they, they had a name. They what? never had a name. They never had a name because I, they I didn't couldn't agree. So. What? They never had a name because they couldn't agree on one. Yeah. So you made us have brain power usage with no answer. <laughs> right. All right. All right. What were the names of Ralph's parents? No clue. Mr. and Mrs. Ralph. Mouth. Ralph the mouth. Yeah. No, no clue. No idea. Minnie and Mickey. They probably named it in like one That's or two right. episodes. What was the name of Potsy's school bus driver? I know, right? <laughs> what was the nickname that Fonzie gave Joni? Oh, Lord. Half Pint. Half Pint. No, Half Pint was... Uh, oh, that's right. That's the other show. <laughs> Little House on the Prairie. He called um, her... Ah, um, oh, shit. Sugar tits. <laughs> <laughs> Take no. a shot. It wasn't sugar tits. I remember Half Pint. Half Pint was from Laura Ingalls. Little House on the Prairie, yeah. Little House on the Prairie. Um, he called her something. Cokehead? What did he call her? Shortcake. It's something like that, right? You looked it up. What? Did you look it up? No. Uh, yeah, it was Shortcake. I knew it had something to do with her height or her size. Oh, half of something. Who fell out? Kathy. Kathy fell out. Well, she's really not contributing much. Let's keep going. When Marion went on a game show, what did she do with the money that she won? What a cruise trip. I guess that's no. What a car? Nope. What a jacket? Nope. What some shoes? 
Remember, the mother is a dick. Self, selfless in that. She would have done something for somebody else. I thought she. I thought she bought a vacation. Mm -mm. She paid Richie's college education. Robin is going on the, the right track. She invested in cryptocurrency. Knew it was going to be a thing. No, nope, she she is selfless. So, what would she? What did she do? Oh, she donated to that dumb club her husband went to. What was it the Grand Poobahs? She gave it to the losers. Well, I would give away money, but the oh, losers, sad. I'd beat them. I'm not paying them. <laughs> that hey, smells Mama. good, whatever that is. Hey, JJ. Oh, what up? Uh, Y'all want to see two, two of my new friends? Hmm. It's two squirrels. Me, hey, Gigi. <laughs> are you what on the Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are no. you? I don't know. I have no idea what those are. They're scarecrows. Those are scarecrows? Yeah. It smells so good here. You going to make us hungry again? Yeah. No. So I'm getting ready to show you something. Yeah, so this is, we do, we're we here, we're now in Pigeon Forge. <coughs> Look at there, Iron Mountain Metal Craft, whole metalworking shop. Mm. We're going to go eat at the Old Mill Restaurant. Mm. Oh, nice, Old Forge. Mm. Mm. And what are you going to go have? I have no idea. The old Forge Distillery. That's the best and, way. Have no idea. And Forge Tennessee Spirits. Right, Kevin? You have you no idea what, you just walk in there. What was that? I said it's the best thing when you do have no idea when you walk yeah. into a restaurant. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the Old Mill District. From Pigeon Forge. We got here all oh, about eleven thirty. We flew in, and then uh, we were picked up. But I have to. Uh, I gotta. Hey, Teresa, I'm gonna walk over here. I'll meet y'all over here in a minute. Flew in. So I gotta. I gotta show you guys this. Yeah. When we when we drove in, just absolutely gorgeous. What? Where is he? Pigeon Forge. What state? Tennessee. Oh, he's down the road. That's pretty. Is that a streamer? Is that a streamer or a crazy? Oh, you'd find me there all day. I say it's the river, but I don't know which one yet. It's the river. Everything's a river to JJ. That's a creek. Or stream. <laughs> that ain't no creek. That's no river. That is just gorgeous. That is a beautiful view. Oh my god, you find me there all day. You have to ask me to leave. Can you yeah. go now? No. I'm jumping in. You catch me. <laughs> oh, it's down there. In Tennessee, all they do to catch is go click, click. Uh, I guess I'll stop. Pointed little bungalow. AJ, I'll have the rainbow trout, please. Right. Look, headless. she's waving, guys. Maybe headless. The headless trout I'll take. Mm -hmm. She's waving. She who? No, I don't want no no uh, river fish, no no sweet water fish. No, it's got to no be river, ocean. What? No river fish. <clears throat> no. Rainbow trout gotta good. From, it's got to be from an ocean, salt water. Trout is delectable. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Like I said, you'll find me there all day. Hi, honey. What up? Hi. What's up, babe? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, babe? Nobody's fishing. They must not let you fish in that spot. It's Probably get illegal. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you get the slobs. They'll leave fishing hooks and lures and all sorts of shit and don't take their crap home. And somebody wants to come take a picture, and they got a hole in the No, it's floor. not deep at all. Look at that. Well, that's where the trout. No, not in this area right here. No, not at all. 
You can walk across. That's pretty. Are you over there? Tennessee is a beautiful state. JJ, you have a magnet? Throw it in the water. Right, not here. Yeah. No, I, I bet there's not a whole lot here you're going to find after uh, after they built all this up and made it look as nice and fancy as it is. This is probably not the area you're going to find stuff like that. Is that a watermill right there, wheel? Watermill, what? A watermill wheel. The other side. Did you say watermelon? Mill. Oh, no, water wheel. There it is. Oh, my God, look at that. Yeah. The water hey, JJ, where are the watermelons? Oh, that is beautiful. Is that a repop yeah. of a grist mill or is that an old grist mill? Yeah, I would say it's an old wood mill. Yeah, wow. Those were the days. And Ooh. then, you know, they converted it into restaurants and everything else. It's back outside this one. All right. Very, very cool. You wow. ready? Yeah. So, are you there on vacation? Yep. Yeah, he's actually taking a real vacation Good for, for like a, for like no like for like a week. Uh, I'll be back Sunday, Saturday cool. night, Sunday. I don't know. So, no auction tomorrow. Nothing on Friday. Nothing for the week. Nothing at all for the rest of the week. Rhonda's going to start getting inboxed out tomorrow. JJ's missing. <laughs> JJ, JJ's missing. We flew into Houston. We went to check out the big one. It looked shut down. What's going on? Look at this. So this is the original mill, from mm. what I understand and have learned. And of course they, yeah. Get the brass all, all greens out. Painting oh from God. the 1940s. Wow. That looks beautiful. I hate 2021. So as you can see, this is, this is just that one section, and then they built on since, you know, to all this other. Oh, wow. There you go. Can you make a big girth, Susanna? Yeah, yeah. Jessica, Claudia, Jessica. There's some history about it right there. I love the frames. Yeah, it's beautiful. So now this is all industrialized. This is, oh yeah, I mean, there's just, that is cool. Why, Why would they have to do that? Oh my God, the trestle. Is that a wood trestle? Get out. Yep, look at the guy sitting on top. Yeah. We still have a trestle Back here. Back in the end, we're men. Oh. Rolling mills. I'm not those up. What's that picture? Yeah, super cool, guys. Love the love the history. Love the. Oh, the history is priceless. I have a disease. Anything called the general. Yeah. 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 They must get really busy. Because that's a lot well, of <laughs> The crazy thing is we're in the middle of a week. It's not even a holiday. We're in the middle of a week. And, you know, they were like, I guess there's a they're having a craft fair here this week or something, which has made it extremely busy. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, or Franklin, yeah, Roosevelt and his entourage traveled through Pigeon Forge in 1940 to dedicate the Smoky Mountains National Park. Almost looks like Hitler in there, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, Papa Smurf. Wow. So yeah, I'll uh, I will be going live a little bit later. Show you guys where we're staying and stuff like that. So. Oh, pottery, honey. 
Yeah. There's yeah. where there's where that creek froze over. It gets that cold in Tennessee where the, that's gonna freeze oh, up. Boy, yeah. Oh yeah. You must be up high. Yeah. We saw, but I was so far away. I'm in the mountains. <laughs> That wood's older than all of us. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right? Wow. Look at JJ cutting the line very stealthily. Oh, you're catching there, dude. Is that an old school bus or an old train across the way? That building don't belong there. Get rid of that building. I had some motel. Gosh, why? This is this is this is a Wednesday twelve o'clock line. Uh, You're kidding me. What's this out now? Wow. Oh, yeah. Some of the original photos here. They the paintings done, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> wow. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of walking through. <laughs> Tell them you did it. You go where you want. There's the cook. There's the kitchen. Turner, come on in, Turner. Here's the bakery. <laughs> I think I'm in the back. <laughs> yeah, JJ wanders through the kitchen. Oh, you guys want some pie? Yeah, I love pie. So I'm gonna walk down through here because I know I'm not supposed to be sitting yet, but I'll go ahead and walk you guys around. See what we got. There's like three levels of restaurant here. Yeah, you guys come up Pigeon Point. I definitely recommend come checking this place out. I actually stayed right up the street from that place when I went to go visit Alex. Batman for the Look at those Ludo's uh, chandeliers. Very nice little place. Old school, wooden. You gotta walk nine miles to get to the table. I bet you the food's good. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's all seven. Guys, all right, well, guys. Do we, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I'm going to go ahead and bounce out of here. Oh, we're, we're ready to go? All right. So I guess we'll find out where we're going to sit. But uh, as soon as we sit down, I'm going to go ahead and bounce out. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll – uh, Come back later on and uh, show you guys where we're staying and go from there because supposedly they got bike bears up around the cabin and everything else. And then we're supposed to do like a bear, like a bear trail thing. So we'll uh, we'll let you guys see all that and share some of that with you guys. Stay safe. All right. Have fun, fella. <clears throat> We Bye. sure give it a shot. Where are they going? Bye. Yeah, kick me out whenever you need to. I'll sit down when we get up there. Oh, we're going to the top level. I didn't show y'all the top level. Here we go. I couldn't walk through that place. There's no way. Yeah, I didn't have to show you. Oh, yeah, I'm in a, like a huge, giant dining room. Wow. That's big. Oh, it's huge. Hundreds, so you're a waiter or waitress. Wherever you want. All right. Thank you guys for letting me share with you. We'll holler at you guys later. Susanna, thank you, Shadow. Everybody, ladies, Robin. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Enjoy. I guess I'm one of the, guess I'm one of the ladies.
<laughs> All right. I'm actually going to close this down because I have so much stuff to do. Oh, well, thanks for our trivia. What? <laughs> thanks for finishing our trivia. <laughs> you guys are smarter than I thought. <laughs> what? Geez, we'd like to know what you thought. <laughs> what are you thinking? You know I'm only kidding. All right, guys. I have to Fine. go. I have to go. I love you all, and I will see you guys around. Be good. Oh.